because I'm a man. to be back well you were just be quiet you were just here tuesday so you right. can't say that now tdp what is that about uh, we'll just yeah. we'll get into that he kind of yeah he got, yeah like, rare. i kind of jump shit <laughs> punk. Um, Jeez. right out the gate uh that uh, never happens on the hey, view well, welcome <laughs> hey welcome to hey, listen uh this huh? is used to be the um the man whatever show we never really had a title yeah, it was just, you know, we, us in the late We night. thought of one last night. Everyone consulted. We didn't call you, but we did. <laughs> <laughs> we called you. Hysterical. <laughs> I didn't know that, Jazzy. Yeah, we, we, all, we all sat down and consulted. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I didn't push. Uh, so, uh, and right. it is, uh, we decided. Uh, I decided on capital N dot capital A dot man's world. So that is. In a man's world. In a man's world. Now, I thought it should be It's a Man's World. Welcome T-O. to It's a Man's World. That's what I said. And he said, no, welcome to it. I didn't say no. I don't. Let me tell you something about me, homie. Okay. I don't balk nothing. Whatever we throw on the wall, we throw on the wall, and then we work it out. I don't got time to be going back and forth. No, that don't. I, I, don't, I don't get down like that. All right, all right, you said right. what you said, and I said what I said. Okay, all right. All right. Okay. And I had no a little sensitive. Yeah, you didn't. Wasn't you did cat with me. How come you didn't do cat with him? <laughs> I mean, he just, <laughs> well, I, I had he no just had his moment. Shit, Everybody so, yeah. having their, 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 their um, yeah. uh, end of the month. Is it that time? Hey, that it's the beginning that, of the that month. Should, yeah. Okay. Hey, sometimes they come early. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, listen. Uh, welcome back. Listen, we changed our time. Our producer. Um, Who's a producer? Some somebody in the back. She owns a company. Oh, so okay. she I didn't um, approve that. We didn't. Um, we we were get the memo. Uh, no. Yeah. So she's like, "What do y'all want to do? You got to your time. Would you make sure you're gonna do it right? Let's do that." She hit, put the hammer you down. Sound like the lady at the corner market. So we <laughs> no. She just sat. She's like, well, let's, "You let's, just eat my apples." Well, she said, "All right, let's put the show. We we can do better." And we all agreed. Right. We all agreed. So we changed I the concur. time. We changed the time. She she laid out a little. A did few, anybody few, tweet that we're gonna be on it this time? Uh, well, that was we had a few more disciplines. I'm sure she did her in. Yes, she's shaking her head. Yes, she did her in. Yes, Aww. she just she just texted you and said tweeted you. So yes, she did. Um, so and we're we're here to do our part. So we're here now. Uh, Fridays nine to nine p.m. to eleven to eleven. That's West specific Coast. time. That's West Coast time. West Coast and East Coast. Um, Use your fingers. Count up three hours. Yeah, it's it would be twelve to um to two. Twelve to two. Wow. No, 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 11. No, no, 12. Well, Midwest, okay. Why you argue with yourself? Well, the reason we decided... Chicago is 11 to 1. New York is midnight to 2. Thank you, Jazzy. And you are East would be Coast 12, You don't know your it would East be Coast 12, You're from okay. Philly, too. Right. Okay, so what we decided, we figured... Sucker. That most of you men who, who you know, your girlfriends w- were getting a little tired and were make, was not making your sandwiches. That's not our concern. Well, uh, we're going to move it up. We're going to feel better. This is because of Women's Month last month. We're going to go ahead and now they Wait can make the sandwiches up. at 9. Hold up. So we are moving the show up because women are getting tired of making sandwiches no, at no, 12 I'm doing this for the, the I'm doing this for the men because I think they oh. should eat better. I'm with oh, okay. you on that. So I'm I'm with you I on want that. a better sandwich for them. And if the girl's tired, it's hard. She won't put the right mayonnaise, right condiment on it, and she'll get lazy. Wow. You can't demand her to be the best. Now, you're being very tired. general when you I, say All day long. That's, I that's why. She, hey, they're in our world. It's a man's world and a man's world. In a. So, um, so you can go ahead. And, and by 1.30, 1.45, you haven't gotten any or she hasn't handled her business. You know, you, eh? you're the only way to sleep. Or, you know, you go into your special room. Special room. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has, every man has a special room. I'm Louis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Now, you're not allowed to be in your special room while you listen to us. <laughs> That's that's that's, that's uh, your your woman should be in your, your joint room that all both of you can share. Yes. What is exactly is in the special oh, room? Here we well, go. we we you know that's that's personal. I mean, it's what's in your room. If I invite you, you'll know. Wasn't the word personal an indicator of that? Your no, you know what was your your yeah your room. Oh, so that excludes the female entity. So oh they have no, to when you say your for female, that means and. Okay. Guy, it means 
Exclusive. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Your personal room. Personal. Your personal room. women means because personal women mean and, and who else? If it's not her, she should already know. Exactly. Do you have your personal room at home? I I, I have a very small home, so I'm in. That's it. It's, it's very personal. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so personal. It's it's trust me. It's 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 a uh, one room in a room. Hey hey, one room in a room. Rooming with a rumor. You know, I'm there talking about. Hey, I I, I I can collect my thoughts quickly. <laughs> 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 From one room to another. Oh, so, sir. But hey, but I'm making it my place. I've that's cleaned right. it up, and I've 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 used have. I've, this is how you know you you're in a good place. Tell me, Od. Is when you use lemon pledge. Lemon use, pledge is the bomb. Pledge. Yes, I use lemon pledge. You get that nice yeah. lemony odor. That means you have you have you have. Uh, now here's the tell and tale. Do you use a old t shirt or you use a paper towel or? Oh no no no. Oh hotel, right. Oh hotel towel. Okay. That's what they take hotel towels for. A white one, right? Yes. But they don't leave lint behind. Oh, I got dust. I have lint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have dust. I'm, I'm old school. I don't have. I mean, you're doing well if you only have lint. No, but I'm saying if you're using a if you're using a hotel towel, which is a white towel, it doesn't leave lint. Oh no 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 no! You don't use the Swift in there. Right, right. Nobody's been to my house yet with oh, that. Okay. Whenever I'm right. struggling, nobody ding dong. And like, oh, oh what is yeah. this? Okay. Right. You know, when I get All that right. ding dong, I'm like, sign for this. Damn. <laughs> you know, who found me? So, right. hey, listen, I hope everyone. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, just caught that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope every, That's a real uh, S-H-I-T right there. Hey, you know, that's, that's on the real. Listen, um, uh, it was a good week. Uh, uh, good week. Uh, you, Jeff, what was your week like? Yeah, it was it was a great week, man. Um, some good stuff mm-hmm. went down. NWA got inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Congratulations! NWA, that that was good for you. What did you did you were you did you work with them? You were a stage manager. Yeah. You open up for them. Yeah, I did. At one point in Compton. Well, good for you. And Jazzy else? was in the Ice Cube video. Yeah, Two of them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Every every time I hear that song, I sleep on him. Oh no! Come on. Stay come true on. to the game. Stay true it to the game. Day. Come on. Balling. He was a dude in the trunk. <laughs> Great. Hey, hey, put hey, ants hey. in there with me. Jeff's, pa- hey. Jeff's passport's been stamped a few times. So, uh, and and well, good. And the family okay? Son is great, man. Mom? Mom as well. She's Dad? back in Chicago. It's cold there. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 it's freezing. Yeah, it's yeah, snowing. Yeah. yeah. I, What's I'm, the temperature? It's like 32. Oh, wow. That's that's freezing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Yeah. But I, it's interesting because today I noticed something today because it's a little, in California, it's a little rainy and windy. Women love this kind of weather because they get to accessorize. You got to get the layer up. Oh, man, you see him just walking around with a hat and a beanie, and a boyfriend has to wear something like that. But not really. They get to wear, you know. I see him out there. They got with... the winter coat and all of that. No, yeah, yeah. I, the boots. I, I, the boots. I, well, the boots they wear anytime now. I mean, boots, it could be 10. I'm seeing them with, they still got the flip-flops on, shoulders out, because he caught them off guard. That's because you're, you're. What hood you in? Yeah, you're in the hood. That's, that's, that's when, those, are, those, are those are winter outfits for the hood. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay where's the hood at for you? Where's the that was just a joke. No, 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 no. Fuck the joke shit. Because you always like to throw that out there like that. So you yes, trying because to... I grew up Excuse in the hood. me, I don't give a grew fuck up, where you I grew, grew up, up in the hood. Uh-oh. Crooked hat. Oh. Okay, crooked hat. Okay, crooked hat. You say, people kill me when they try to act like... like Ain't know, nobody acting. This is real shit. Ain't nobody acting. Hey, hey listen. All right. Okay, you're right. So Come on, you go home. What do you want shit. me to do? I asked you a question. If you can't answer the, the question... Hood is, you... The hood is people in the wintertime who have summer clothes on outside consistently. That was only my question to okay. you. Okay. <laughs> and then you say, go put a coat on. They say, I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm out right. here moving. I'm yeah. all right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that answer your question? No, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, so listen, uh, what's our number? It's 323. For what? 293. 3375, in case somebody needs a coat. There's a hood rat out there. Give us a call. A hood, a hood rat. A hood. I'm sorry. Now I sound like Don, Don Imus. <laughs> Don, know, Imus. Don Imus. Now, what is a hood rat, LD? Someone. Girl that you know well, <laughs> who's who's outside all the time in the wintertime <laughs> without uh, without a coat on. So, oh, okay. She's making rat moves. Yeah, I mean that's like hood rat. That's, that's cheese that's, chasing that that's cheese. Almost family. Are they on the wire? Do they ever get on the wire? Oh, all day long. Well. Hey, listen. Um, we have a few topics we want to talk about. That was one of the things that we we did. We we, we I thought we were doing fine, but now we we have oh. them numbered. Oh wow. All right. Um. The number one thing I'm seeing going on. What's the number one thing, LD, that you're seeing going in on? In your world today. People not or just on the desperate side of connecting with people, of just Ooh. wanting to be. Okay, before we go any further, we have a caller who evidently. For uh, what? I don't know. Uh, caller, hello. Welcome to the new. Um, in a man's world. Welcome to In a Man's World. Are you a man? Hey, what's the name of the show called? Oh, man, just 
man, nigga, just what? what in you a want? man's world. Oh, in fuck. a man's world. And you're in a man's world. See, I, I told you nah, they wouldn't I, get that. I, I, I wanted to propose a title. Okay, go ahead, Holmes. That's a good idea. Go ahead. You should have called it Nigga, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you and you're our number one caller? A double uh, Apollo hey, legend. Uh, hey, uh, no, no, no. I just wanted, I wanted, to, sh I wanted to shout out to Jeff Arnold. Oh, cool. What's up? Yo, he had he had the he had the show on uh, on um, the other day. Okay, uh, the other, that was Tuesday. What time? I, I'm not sure what day. It's it was. called. I'm, not sure what time it was. I'm telling saw, you, it's I called. His, look, I saw his face on the screenshot on the thing, so I didn't click on it. I was like, oh, that's the one guy, John Lemon. Yeah, I'm yeah. cool. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna watch that bullshit. That there little you go. pussy ass show. There you, you go. Can have that. Well, no, it, no. we keep it too. Well, listen, we're we're we um, we had a meeting about Jeff once we heard this. You know, you he, he have did. a meeting about that beard, brother. Hey, look listen. like the uh, the ghetto tin man with that goddamn uh, <laughs> platinum beard on. He been waiting. <laughs> this is listen. I just won a state championship, so uh, wait a minute. Let's not let's not roll over that. The no. beard. No, the ghetto tin man. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> hey, who is this? What's this guy's this name? Is X boy. Oh, X. Oh, oh, you doing all right? X, you on fire? All right. How's the oh. family, X? Instant classic. You said what? How's the family? Nigga, fuck you. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. We can go back to that it's part. serious. We can go back to that part. But seriously, how's the family? Everybody good? Young so up. you don't want to be regular, huh? So you just want to, you just want to be you just want to be you just want to be poster. Well, good. Well, I hope all is well, X. I, I know your, your your minutes ran out. No, you have to understand the energy behind it, LD. Well, sometimes and that's great, and I said it's okay. We can come back to that energy. But some people who are listening want want to hear some common sense. They don't. He, he said it twice, and they got good laughs. Third, fourth laugh. You think that's going to get a laugh? Now you're being critical all day long. Critiquing uh, comedy. I, I, I apologize. Hey, I mean that's what you know. Hey, okay. But listen, hey, X. Good to hear from you. Yeah. Um, a double Apollo legend. Yes. Very funny stuff. Yeah. So uh, call back. Hope the family's well. The wife is good. She's still saving you. From now on, wow. his name is <laughs> is Charlie Wilson. That's Charlie Wilson. X is Charlie Wilson. He said his wife saved him. Uh, I was... Um, you sure? <laughs> hilarious, man. And he cracked on my beard. Yeah. Uh, now, tin man. The ghetto, ghetto tin, tin man. man. Just, I've just been chilling. Um, this was... Um, you look like Alan Page, though, from Minnesota. From, yes. Yeah. This, this, the state rep. You should play him in a movie. It's kind of like that. a nostalgic you know, week for me, so I kind of oh, chilled. Nostalgic. Yeah, chilled, laid back, grew the beard, you know, shaped it up a little bit, mm -hmm. looked okay. out the window, did some thinking. You know, ignored some people. Yeah. You know, so it was cool. Uh, spent some time, watched a lot of Law and Order, uh, Criminal Intent. Did you learn anything? Uh, when that music start, it's a rap. It's a rap. Da -da -da. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Somebody, <laughs> somebody snitching, it's a rap. Yeah. Um, Olivia getting on my nerves. Um, Already? You know, uh, what else? Uh, oh, the OJ. Um, finale. Kill oh, Killing Me. Just okay, got, yeah. Just finale Did not the... think I was going to get locked into it. You know, watched it the first couple of times, like, ah. Right. But got locked into it. Because last time we reported, you were in the um, two minutes into the first quarter. Then you were kind of like at half. Oh, they, it was touch. It was a Super Bowl. It was great. Marsha Clark, Mark, the girl that played Marsha Clark. Sarah Paulson. Marsha Mark, when that episode, when it was the episode on her, when she went up to the Bay Area, Oakland. I didn't, I'm not watching oh, yeah. it. Oh, man, it was great. You, I, and you know, you? the weird thing is. You, I, I watched it for real. You, you, go. you watch it like it's, the ending's going to be different. That's what killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I kept watching it thinking the ending was going to be different. Now, uh, that girl. To play Marsha, she should win an Emmy. That, that's Sarah what they would Paulson. be nominated. What about Courtney B. Vance? Yeah, I'm Johnny trying Cotton. to get to that. You, okay. What, what about him? You're supposed to, when, I, when I'm done and move on, you're supposed to say, hey, you forgot. No, I like the fact that Jazzy knows the actor's name. Oh, John Lemon, that's that's what he does. Right. He knows all the actors' that's, that's names. That's the shit. That's, that's what good actors do. Yeah. So he knows good actors. Um, <laughs> he knows good actors. <laughs> so you, you passed the trial part uh, and all that? No, no, yeah, but um, like you said, Courtney B. Vance tore it up. Yep. I mean, he, he just, he just. Emmy. I was thinking, him and his wife are such great actors. Angela okay, let Bassett. me say this. Angela that Bassett. Point. So their kids must not believe, they, they must have their kids fooled all the time. Okay, Courtney B. Vance, the last time you said that they didn't have his Johnny Cochran's natural right, so did they ever straighten his natural out? No, I did like they? this natural, it wasn't natural. It was naturally natural. It was nappy. It was cool. Okay. So they never straightened they, yeah, just, it. Yeah, you know, it was cool. Okay. Um, the only person who I had a hair problem with was the girl who, who who was in a Johnny Cochran's firm. She had the frizzy hair. They had this girl with a I think her name was Tracy. Something. But, um, so, yeah, and, and uh, the guy that played Carl Douglas tore it up. Yeah. Carl Douglas, yeah. Yeah, tore it up. You know his name? No. He's not important. No, he is. He's a good actor. He was good. He was good. He was good. He was good. Um, and... Um, 
shout out to the kid who committed suicide, or allegedly, I don't know if they ever confirmed that, the, 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 the model. He was in it. He played Christopher Darden's best friend up in the Bay Area. He had a few scenes. Oh, the one really that you good. knew, right? That yeah, one? yeah, yeah. What was his um, name? What was his name? The, the young... Um, he did the show. He did the... Um, wow, really? Sam. Sam Sapon. Yeah, Sam, Sam Sapon. Yeah, Sapon, yeah. So, yeah. shout out to him. He did a great job. Um, Ricky Harris was in it. Yep. Nice. Um, and how's Ricky uh, doing? He's doing real better. He's doing real good. Real better. That's nice. Real better. Um, I like that. Um, Mo better? Coco, Coco, Coco Brown was in it. She was in oh, it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um... Uh, who, who else? Uh, uh, it was really good. It was good. It was good. It was good. Uh, the only person he, I, you know, he did a great job. I mean, you know, uh, in Cuba. You know, he just didn't look like a football player. I mean, he looked like one in Jerry Maguire. <laughs> well, it's hard. It's hard to place. You know, but, OJ's cranium. Well, that was after the years. But it was cool. It was good. It was. I enjoyed it. OJ I, put on weight because he retired in '79 from the San Francisco 49ers. We have a caller. We have a caller. Is it OJ? Hilarious. Collect. We collect. Hello, Call OJ. Back. Hey, caller. Hello. Yo, who's this? Speaking of Carl Lewis, let's talk about this sweater Jeff Arnold got on. No, hold, hold up. Before we go into further, who is this? I'm sorry, Lewis. Uh, the, what, is your beard covering your ears, too? No, my hat is, but what's what you... It's the same guy. X. Oh, damn. Where's the rest of you at, brother? Okay, well, bro, I didn't, hey, most times, hey, look, we're so popped, I didn't know you were going to call back. <laughs> I did not. I mean, I, I, I always called in once for the ignorance, and then I called back to, what are y'all really talking about? That's all. Oh, all right, now that we know that, so we'll let the ignorance, how long do you want to do the ignorance? No, 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 let's move on, let's, let's carry Thank on. You. Let's I'm talking about, so on. the next time he calls, I'll have a lip say, oh, okay. Don't worry, Ding. don't okay. put the card before the All right, board. what's up, X, how you, how's everything? I don't know what's up, the sweatshirt. That don't Jeff is... ask me. Don't ask me like you really care. Treat me like we're part of the conversation. What are y'all talking about? What are y'all gonna ask? Now, me? see, that, that's where you're mistaken. I do care, girl. If you ask oh. anyone that knows me, I'm not gonna ask you a question. Anybody that knows you knows you got a pair of briefs on your head. Now keep moving. What no, my son about? like my son said I upgrade my beanie beanie game. This is a nice that is beanie. not a beanie, brother. It is a beanie. <laughs> that is a. Let me get a, a pack of cigarettes and that uh, do rag right there. No. All what right. Are you talking about? All right, X. I bet you know something about you guys under thirty. You, you guys don't even know how to pick out socks. Yet. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. In the, I'm not under thirty, brother. Ooh. Oh, oh. Well, how old are you, girl? You better fact check me. Oh, now, what are we talking about? His hand on his hip. Oh, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Peter. Peter. Yes, Peter, sir. Don't do it. Don't do it, brother. Hey, I'm live and in living the color, color, baby. What you want to do? Like a paper plane, brother. I bet your kids sitting over there listening oh, to you. I'm like, really? go, daddy, go. You can do it. You're talking to <laughs> three nah, people at once. No, no, no. We said what we're not gonna do. Did he bring another man's name hey, man, into the really, conversation? Really, Speedy, who has nine kids from different people, you bringing him up oh, as the... I mean, come on, man, seriously. Come on. I love what, him. What, what, what's what's, the what's the that got to do with it? What that has to do with I, I, I it? Came, I came here to build with y'all, man. I all can't right, tell. So, so what, what, uh, we're talking about... Um, well, how was your week, first of all? Did you have a good week? Man, no, no, Lewis. Get to the point. What, what, what the fuck first is the point? First of all, Lewis? X, they haven't even introduced the topic yet. We so. were actually about to my, introduce it when you called, so, so stay with us. Frida. So here's the... <laughs> <laughs> nigga, if you're going to be me, nigga, who's going to be you? <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. My, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah, I said it, nigga. Yeah, me. Step to the plate. Yeah. Where, 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 where are we going with this, man? You tell me. You tell me. You call me. I didn't right. call you. You tell me. Right. No, I know. This? I know. I know. I know what it was. You got we were, me fucked up. We were discussing. Oh. We were discussing. We were. That discussing. sound like some A B Floyd Mayweather shit going on. Me, and nigga, I'm undefeated. Nigga, what Whoa. you gonna do? No, it's not necessary. But Come I, on. X X X X, X X X X X X. Shh. <laughs> 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 Are we picking sides now? No, I mean sometimes. I mean the, the young boys. I'm GI Joe. Okay. You know, yeah. You know, it's just like you got to bring them back. You know. I wouldn't give a fuck. I, I I dialed it down a little bit, but I I, I chimed in. Well, no, you know what? That's okay because see, there it's was your a, man voice. No, man. there was a time when we were growing up. See, there's different generations. Your mama loves me. Now, see, we were growing up. When we talked, to, when we talk to grown men, we could challenge them. We tell them to tone it down. They let us go so far because they know if it was outside of us, you, you'd be getting you know dusting yourself off. But that, yeah, but that's I what I'm saying. That's one with you. I would have been in. in, in, in uh, hang him up. I'm, right I'm tired. I'm tired. Hang yeah, on. let us educate him. Go ahead. That's right. He can come back, and we're not closing the door and locking it. You're gonna tired. be able to come back. You know, time out. But right now, you gonna go, we're gonna put you on the porch. <laughs> Just like you said, with the older generation, you were around these people for wisdom. Yep. Right now, in the physical realm of this, it's like I still want to try myself. So yeah, I'm, I'm a. We gonna go body. 
I want to see where I, I stand in this landscape. So I'm going to go lick my wounds off and everything. I ain't going back with no gun and none of that shit. It's a learning lesson. Right. They don't have that shit no more. No, because there were different kinds of lessons that we got as young men. And, and, and it is generational because our fathers got different ones where they couldn't even cough around their dads. You know, there's certain things they had to do. Right. And yep. it was life. It could be life or death with their dads or, you know, or, or maimed or somehow. Yep. And then our dads, it was a little more our moms and grandmothers protected us because so then... Now, our thing with our kids, our sons, it's, you know, discipline, sort of the same, you know, a little more time out, a little more getting their cell phones. We, sh- we wouldn't have never got cell phones unless we had two or three jobs. And it's the uh, thing now is the kids, the young people like X, he doesn't realize. There's no respect. He doesn't want to be. You're, we're not saying that you're us if you settle down and have a civil conversation and then throw your little hip stuff in. That's how young talent, like when Dave Chappelle first came on the scene, he didn't try to dominate. He just he just threw his his time and in. Gerard Carmichael's doing the same thing. Very we accept talented. your your creativity, but you you will never dominate us three, and you can't come in to our house thinking you're going to do that. That's the, that's why we're, you're in a man's world, and in a man's world you can function. But you have to function like a good man. Forget you, because when you around these young boys who around all these, these young boys who around all these women, they can act like X acts because it's all women. Let's not let's not put it on that situation. Though. Well, all right, I just did. So okay, let's not. So do that. because a man, men have to step in. We have to check. It's no checkpoint, you know. And that's why if it was so bad, X wouldn't keep calling back. And that's one of the things I want to talk about. Lessons, the lessons you learn. Now, and just tell me a story. I know a lesson. I remember a lesson I learned when I was um, twelve years old. Um, you were hairy then. I forget you. And that was what? It was, I was 12 years old. And what I did was I had to go to the bathroom really bad. <laughs> and I, number one, I had to go to the bathroom really bad. So uh, Mr. Russell. Who, number one or number two? Number one. Oh, Mr. Okay. Russell was outside the store. It was an alleyway. So he had, and it was a back door to the store. So he saw me peeing in the alley. Okay. So then he called me and he's like, so is that how you want to be known? I mean, anybody can be walking by. That's just class. No class. Can't okay. find somewhere to feed, knock on the door, or whatever. I understand you want to go to the bathroom, so, but that's just the pee. You could have came in here and went to the bathroom. So it's kind of like, uh, I felt bad. You know, Why would you feel bad? Because it was, he was right. I didn't show any class. And that was a lesson how, that how I didn't have to that? get beat or anything. How did I know that? But I'm saying you're 12 years old. You got to pee. You said you had to pee really bad. Yeah, but I could have made it to the, I just, that was a decision. I could have made it to the store and went to the bathroom. Okay. okay. I just said, I'm peeing in the alley. We have a caller. Like everybody else pee in the alley. Hello, caller. Your name? Don't let it be X again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, it's not X. Oh. It's Wyker, Patrick, and Kelly. Hey, and what's Apollo up? Legend. How you doing, P? What's up, D? What's up? How's man, the family? All right, man, welcome back, fellas. Good. good. Family's good, man. You know, I caught a cold from one of my son's friends, though. How old is your son's friend? You got to stop kissing How them. How old? <laughs> I will be thy name. I know. I set myself up right when I said. And you know, my, my brain went so fast, my lips didn't catch up. That's why I, I stuttered. I'm sorry, Pete. Yeah. You no, man. I, no, no. I, I took the kids camping. Nice. Uh, okay, you cool. Know. Yeah, you know, and fucking, it was like a big size tent. So it was like, you know, me, uh, one of the uh, son's dads, and like four oh. boys just camping. And, don't go there, Peter. <laughs> no. no, you I'm ain't sorry. there, not me. <laughs> yeah, because when you said it, you had right, a pause. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. You, you had a, you had a Thank tent. You, you had a tent that, moment. Yeah, I would put that disclaimer out. Pause. On all. Thank you. Is this my but man no, with the man, daughter? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Daughter. Yeah, oh, yeah okay. we are gonna get to that later. <laughs> How's your son-in-law? Yeah, but, nah, shit. Here we go. Nah, now yeah, you went camping with your son. Not yet. Yeah, man, I took, I took him camping, man. It was pretty good. But then, like I said, one of the little kids, you know, had a cold. He came to the trip sick, and you know, I'm feeling it. So, yeah, man. But other than that, life is good, man. Can't complain. Hey, so Aaron. Fact <laughs> Frida with a snore. <laughs> Aaron. So his son is 10 years old. His son is on the swim team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what did y'all do now? Was, this was outdoor camp because they have indoor camping. Yeah. He said so this it, was was no, it was outdoor. Okay. It now, was, it was outdoor. were you raised in the city or, or outdoors? I was raised in the city, man, but, you know, now we live up here. It's like yeah, uh, the forest and woods and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So, did you guys go gather wood and stuff for a fire? You do all that? Shit, the kids did. I wasn't doing all that. <laughs> I don't know if gather it. <laughs> y'all go fishing and shit. Yeah, y'all go yeah, fishing yeah. and shit. I never, I've never yeah, been man, fishing. I, I want to go fishing. What? Never been fishing. Wow, you a what? loser. I've been to the fish store. I ain't never, never been, been fishing. fishing. <laughs> Hooking rod. Never, never been man. fishing. Never been yeah. fishing. But so, uh, so wait a minute, D. Where's the? What was the campground? Where'd y'all go? 
Oh, no, man. It's like one of these uh, river bars uh, out here, you know, because it's like a whole shitload of rivers. So you just pick a river, nice little uh-huh. spot, and you just make it happen. So, um, did hey, you see the stars and all that? Was it a nice night and all that? I wasn't trying to gaze the stars up. Yeah, well, are you curling like your feet up while you're asking this? <laughs> what, what is this? Aaron, hey, Aaron, real quick. I mean, hold up while TDP gets his shoes off. Because um, I've been camping. I've been up there at the higher elevation where it's a nice night and you can see the stars shooting across the goddamn sky. That's a beautiful night. All right, but for, for guys who've never Take been Take a moment. Yeah, Take a moment. Thank you. We, 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 we didn't stargaze, man. We was born in terms of, uh, you know, getting in tune with nature. You know, took the kids. I tried to take them hunting, but they were all scared to mess with the rifle. Wow! Hey, so, so that's what we start. That's what we start fishing. So, Aaron, oh, okay. Aaron, um, question. Um, Aaron, is it, what's his name? Dwight, Aaron? boy. Dwight. Okay, <laughs> damn. What my fault? Dwight Glickman. Make up his mind. Glickman. <laughs> <laughs> you all off tonight. Dwight. Hey, what? Your age, don't Aaron must be your lover. Next. Dwight. What? <laughs> I don't know. Dwight Kirkpatrick, boy. Oh, okay. Kirkpatrick. My fault. Hey, listen. I wanted I'm to ask. Hey. All right. Hey, D- D- uh, Dwight. I wanted to ask you. DK, man. DK, okay, listen, I wanted to ask you, in, in your upbringing, uh, what was the best advice? Was it physical? Was it word-wise? You know, was it words of wisdom that you got, and who was it from? Now, when you say physical, you talk about, like, asking? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you get a whip, and you like, sometimes you get a whip, and you're like, I'm never going to do that again. No, uh, it was more physical, that right there. What, know, what happened? What, was, what happened? Moms or dad? Well, 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 you know, when I was younger, still in comic books, got caught up, moms came up to the shop. The comic shop smashed on me a little bit in front of everybody. I never did it again. You, you know? said mom or dad? My mom, my mom did that. My dad, at that point, my mom and my dad were separated. Pops was living in Vegas, but you know that's a whole other story. So how many, but, how many comic yeah. books did you get take? Shit, done that day. <laughs> you didn't even do nothing that day you got beat down hey listen yeah, man. listen Aaron I'm just kidding Dwight <laughs> uh, uh, okay hey listen thanks man shout out much love to you and respect to you and your wife and family man take care be safe up there and what about the daughter yeah what happened with the daughter yeah you gotta call us back and let us know uh, uh, if she's pregnant yet right I'm just kidding <laughs> no, no, she ain't pregnant, man. for those of you who don't know it, daddy you can keep my charger for those of you who don't know the story Aaron uh, if you don't know the story go to the archives uh, um, to Morris Media Studios and you can hear all all the shows, the rollout, Jeff's little sorry show that debut, wow, Matt Barr, wow, wow. Uh, Alonzo's <laughs> wow. show, all the shows that Poetus put together, like twelve or thirteen going. That's hey, we're gonna take right a break. Uh, Alonzo Bo- still got his show. I'm the Bo hey, Jackson of Internet not, Radio. Yeah, really. Not mean to cut you off. Uh, 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 Dwight, take care. Three two three two nine three 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 seven five. This is uh, we're in what. In a man's world. I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Hey, uh, Morris Media Studios. We'll be right back. Ain't no half stepping. So fine. I was listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire. So coming over. That that's the kind of music I was saying. Oh. Ain't no. You're welcome. We jam Earth, Wind, and Fire. I was jamming, of course, Reasons, and okay. um, you know we never talked to y'all, but uh, we just want to think we sit down, take a time, and that's talk to y'all. That's the way the world is jammed. That's the way. <clears throat> so um, listen, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Welcome back to the. In a man's world. That's where you are. You're in, in our world, world, courtesy of Morris Media Studios. And we're happy to be back. We're from 9 to 11. <clears throat> we had a good conversation. Well, we had... Pacific time. We had, we had a so-so conversation with X. Thanks for calling X. Uh, numbers 323. I'm sorry. 293 What'd you say, Jeff? No, shout out to uh, DK, too, for calling in. Oh, Aaron, yeah. Patrick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for calling. Uh, come I'm on, call man. us. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about, as always, how men... Deal with women because we hear Is that the focal point tonight. Well, because we hear so much about how women deal with men, they have books, how you can help yeah, them, and, uh, and the women parties. And, and uh, I gotta admit, though, the baddest one of the baddest soundtracks was Waiting to Exhale. <laughs> Great soundtrack. Oh man, that video that uh, Whitney Houston did. Yeah, Ooh, rest in power. Sometimes you cry. Oh man, that was. Woo, that was nice. Mm. Powerful. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Woo. It'll make you water up. Man, I mean, she was beautiful in that video, too. I mean, they, everything beautiful was period. a close up shot and all the shots of the women. Yeah. You know, it was just a, you know, it was a, that was enough of the movie for me to have to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to see. If just I, watch the video. Yeah, if I'm with my girl and, you know, she wants to watch Wayne's Girl, I'm like, let me watch Whitney's video. You can watch the movie. Gotcha. And it was, you know, and I watched the video. I'll watch it twice. There you go. I mean, yeah. you know, you know, and that, you know, memory of her, too. 
So um, Rest did y'all? Yeah, somebody did a bad. Uh, it was on. Uh, well, let's not go there. It was on Morse Media. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Whitney. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Facebook. I looked. I wanted to tell poets like you so, but you should. Oh, uh, well, she does control them, but this one she she had to let go. It was hilarious. Did you guys see it? No, I'm not on it. Oh, you you, you don't want to hear it. No, I'm just saying I'm not oh, on it to I see think, it. I uh, think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Congratulations, Whitney. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Four years. Sober. Four years sober. <laughs> Oh, too soon, too soon. No, it's, uh, no. right on time. Comedy is comedy, man. Whether you like it or not, that's the one thing I love about oh, this. That's Whether good. You like it or not. Oh, oh yeah, so it, it was, that was so funny. I almost listened to Speedy's show, but then uh, I didn't. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just uh, yeah, we're really going there tonight, huh? <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I'm Louis Diggs. TDP, Jeff Arnold. Uh, listen, I hope you have not lost your iPhone or any of that other stuff. Tighten up your belt, straight no chaser. Yeah, get your sandwiches. Women, you should be on the lap by now. You've, we've given you a half an hour before I've mentioned it. You should be making the sandwich. Uh, brown mustard, little mayo. Um, Everybody does. Some people are allergic to what Well, I'm just like. telling the girl that's waiting to make mine. Just oh, there you go. Right. Oh. Ooh. That's all right. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Like trying to get what, in early. Hey, it's what, hey, that's what happens when you win a state championship. <laughs> Hey, congratulations. Thank you very much. Harvard Westlake, we won a state championship and uh, beat Palmer. It was beautiful. Get a ring. Ring sizing is this, um, is this, uh, anyway, okay. Our topic is um, men, uh, you know how you have, and I guess women too, everybody. This song, I remember you have two lovers. I got two lovers. Mary Wells. But, but, poet is our producer, fact me and said that uh, that was really, she was talking about one guy. Right. Both of them are you. Right. I, I didn't get that part. Uh, oh, really? Me and Mrs. Jones comes into play. You said beat me to the punch. Yeah, that's Mary Wells as well. Um, Written by Smokey. So I, Smokey. Neo's got that independent woman. He likes an independent woman. So you trying to come up with a theme song? Well, it, no. The thing is that... Oh, so there are theme songs for what you're talking no, about. No, I think that people sometimes in, in relationships have two two people that they... One that's really good. You know, say you have a woman that has a uh, money, home, no kids, you know, thinks like you, wants to, you know. Which rub, side do you show the most? Rub your feet. <clears throat> Which side do you show the most? What side? What do you mean? In the relationship for the woman, you show the, more of the good guy or the bad guy? Because we all have two sides. You can be that good guy. I, I, give me give me time. I'll think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him an hour and a half. Oh no, I mean, I mean really, I mean, really, I just, I, I, it's a great question. I just uh, so it's the first topic in love and lust. Is that is that what we talking? Yeah, about? yeah, because you, there's a, then it's the girl who's you know turned you out. Great, yeah, great, you know, oh, great whatever. Girl. No money, no, you know, no kid, no one want to pay. That was your first girlfriend, right? You know what? The one that was pregnant that was in oh. high school. Is that the one? No, no, that 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 was yeah. I mean, yeah, she was, she was, she was, that was a different time. I was, yeah, I was in high school, but she was, she was kind of in her senior year. I'm saying the first time is always the one you can't. She had a baby. That's when a lot of girls are having yeah. babies at 16. <clears throat> they have them now. 14. Yeah, stop. Like, no, yeah, stop. They haven't stopped. Yeah, but. Had a thousand years ago, they but, had them um, 14. Okay. So that's our top, and, I, and I, we're going to be, everybody here is going to share. I mean, Jeff. No, speak for yourself. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah, TDP did, did kind of cringe when I told him, like, you know, so. I, I myself, I have no problem sharing. Um, I... And how much did you lose? <clears throat> All right, there's a difference from falling in love and falling in lust. Well, explain you, if, the if, difference. If, if in you don't, your world. if it doesn't work out, falling in love, it can cost you. It can cost you a couple of homes, you know, alimony, you know, kids, stuff like that. Love. Yeah, and, and you know, lust. You so know, you're saying love makes you lose? Is that what? No, no, no. Sometimes it works. I'm trying out, to hear you. But and then lust is 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 kind of like a payment plan. Lust, you know, you. Whatever, however you got on that lust thing, you got to maintain it. It's you know. It's, well, I said then the debit, person wants something I said more. Debit love quite. Yeah. Okay. A couple there you of go. shows there back. You go. So we want to know if you've been. Um, how it's 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 hard to break off that one that puts it on you. You've it's never hard? been with anyone who who you know you shouldn't be with. I mean, she get on your nerves. She she not she's mean. You know you know she got somebody else. I know I have, and, and it's just. Well, you have to deal with that. <clears throat> I mean, and, uh, as a man, I've been, I've been, 
I've been, been a side piece. I've been for a eight. Long time. I've been I've been eight and a half months clean, <laughs> sober. I've been eight months sober. How long you been side, a side piece? I've been eight months sober. <laughs> so I'm I'm hoping for a year I can get my first chip. Your first I chip. I don't know what they give you because you know like if you you know rehab they give you you know chip. My dad. So like I like how Tiger Woods had to go to the sex rehab in Mississippi. Right. right. So is is that a real situation? But his is different. My, I'm getting no. That's not. I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm just bringing up sex rehab. Okay. Okay. Now is that a real place for the, that can really help you in a situation? I, I don't. Evidently, I I'm, I must need it if I'm if I'm in eight and a half. That's months. what I'm saying. Does it just help? Okay, I fuck too much. I'm gonna help you stop fucking too much. Or is it a side of that building where it's like I don't fuck enough? Can I? Can you help me fuck some more? I think that's always. That's something that's implanted in, in real, most men. Okay. I don't get enough. Yeah. Because I was, you know, it, it, it's funny. Thank you. you. You know, you always feel like I should be able, it should be. Automatic. It shouldn't be something that should be in short supply. Mm. So right. you always feel like there's something, 20, you always feel that's 24 hours. I mean, it, it should yeah. Be. Well, if I got to take a nap sometime. Yeah, but I mean, Shit. yeah, you, you know, but, and All women right. think that way too. Women, it is 24 hours. They that can is. call you at four or five in the morning. Well, it depends on the type of woman. Yeah, and it depends well, that, on who they it's want. Well, it's that woman. I mean, that woman, that woman that I'm talking yes, about. Yeah. That woman that I'm talking about. Okay. That woman that's got us. So she is this the lustful woman? Yes, the okay. one that put it on you. The one that, 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 like Eddie Murphy said in the movie, curled your toes. I mean, you know. She's that freak. Yeah. She, she, she's, she's learned well. She knows what she does well. But the other part, she just doesn't have down. And you wish you could kind of combine it. So let okay. us know three two three two nine three 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 seven five. So you you you're standing tall. You never happened to you. You're standing tall. Never happened to you. But I don't I don't know what, what degree you're saying. It, yeah, I mean to whatever gr- degree you feel like sharing. You have, yeah, you've never yeah. been what? I ain't never been pussy whooped. What does that entail? To make me you know run out and buy shit and you know constantly just like. Be up under her and all of that. No, I ain't had that feeling. No, no. Right. And she, if she's no, skilled no. enough, she's not going to be under you. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about that. When you take care of, uh, I guess, sucker bills, you do things like you know. No, no, I, I hear what you're saying. See, that's one thing about us. We don't listen to understand. We just listen to respond. Those are those are things in the prism that happen. Like dudes, a call a girl and they don't answer, and then they go by their house. Touching their car, the hood, see if it's warm, if they bit. You know, dudes be oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me write that down. Crazy stuff. Hold on, let me write that down. <laughs> you ain't know about that? Go ahead, on, just kidding. Because, <laughs> see, when we were 16, man, we was in these streets. And it was a place, Casa Maria. It was a Mexican restaurant. It used to be on Hearthdown Boulevard and Imperial. It used to be across the street from the Cockatoo Inn. Right. It was a little Mexican restaurant there. So every Friday, our... Like, the generation before us, their whole thing was like, you know, you don't hit the dude's main girl and his side girl. Our generation, we came up like, fucking all these bitches. Exactly. Now, you going to man up with this? It's like, okay, if you crack my bra here, here's her phone number. You got all week. So Friday, if you can crack her and you hitting everything, then you bring her to the restaurant. Because we all at the restaurant, we eat. But as a man, you can't be mad if he got your girl sitting over there while we eating. So can you handle this, or you is cannot this a, handle it? Are these true? That's stories? how we got out. Yeah. Are these true stories? These are true stories, yeah. man. I just told you where the spot was. I, I didn't that, grow up out here. I've never been. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Is it still hit there? Oh, it's, just, it's cold. The cockadoo is down. That's down. Yeah, but those are the spots that we went to back when we was coming up. Well, that instant happened to me. So what? What, what happened, John Lemon? No, it was just, um, product of Julius. That was my best friend's girl. Right. And okay, hold up. Hold up. Tap that. Okay. You got quiet. Cuz it's a problem for you. You you, <laughs> you haven't you have dealt with this side of life. What do you mean? What do you mean? Cuz you got side of you it was awkward for you. It was like, "Oh, oh. Your, your body cringed. Your your spirit left back your goddamn day, soul." And I understand what you're saying cuz back in the day that's what we did. If we can get at your girl, right. we're going to get at your girl. Now, if I know she's a down and girl and she ain't there that Friday, I'm like, whoo, that's my girl. But if she there, I ain't going to say that she ever did it with him, whatever we all ever did. We have a conversation. We talking to conversation she really or whatever. Girl. Thank you. All right. All right. So that, those are learning lessons that we learned out here on this West, man. In these streets in the south side of Chicago. So now, <clears throat> those of you who are listening and watching, 
It's evidently these two gentlemen next to me are, are real men. They belong in this place. You. <laughs> <laughs> me, on the other hand. Um, uh, you got to catch you up to speed. Yeah, I, 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 I can't put all that. I, I, hey, man, she can do what you I, I I guess I'm a little, you know, hey. Because the thing is, she's not uncomfortable enough to get up and walk out. She's going to play the game like everybody else. And I got to learn that, and I got to get better at that. So um, let us That's know. That's how you tighten up your belt, belt. man. What? Oh, 323-293-3375. Oh, deflated. <laughs> got the wind knocked out of you. I'm still that tripping on. All right, how are you going? He evidently wasn't your best friend. He is my best friend. He was. He was your best I, friend? I was a freshman in high school. I looked up to him. He was a senior. She, what year was she? She was a senior. And you were a freshman? I was a freshman, but no, this happened afterwards. Were you a whole back? No. <laughs> wow. No, no, no. I was a talented scholarship freshman, motherfucker. That's funny. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> How you going to talk to a man that had best hair in high school, man? Exactly. Cut it out. Oh, you came in as a freshman with best hair? Yes, sir. That's how you sniffed. All right. <laughs> she, they, were at their locker. they were at their locker and then all of a sudden, soul glow. No, this yeah. happened, no. This happened, you know, as, you know, in my 20s and stuff. We were still cool. We were still down. Oh, okay. So you yeah. didn't get her in high school no, later so no, on we, when you met no, her. No, yeah. So oh, that's, that's different. What do you think? It ain't different. It's the same. It, it happens. You, it's, what I'm saying is that's when you know. You're just like, can I handle this? Can I handle playing this game? Okay, I'm in. All right, I don't like this topic. The game uh, stays the same as the players the change. The players change, man. I don't like, see, that's I don't like players and all that. You've never been a player? It's obvious I have not been a player. If I don't, you guys think like players, right? No, it's they, an understanding. It's what a woman will do and a woman will not do. Okay, I have an understanding of players. My, I can assume my dad was, my dad was a player. My dad was a player. I understand what you're saying. But what I'm telling you is why oh. we did that was to truly understand women. You hear the story from the other older guys. Well, you know, I was married and she did this and she did that. That's just growing up in a barbershop. You would hear those stories from the older men. You know, I, I'm working at Xerox out here and then we bought a house out here. I'm traveling to work two and three hours and then she got somebody in the house while I'm at home. You hear these stories. So in our mind, we like, well, all these motherfuckers ain't right. Well, let's let's put them to the test. Yep. That was our thing. Let's put them to the test. It was common, you know, me growing up, I had so many aunties. I was like, okay. Right. So they weren't like, really aunts? No. I'm going by. I'm like in there and like, got to stop by your auntie house. Like, okay. Sit in the car. You learn where you all live, right. man. Plain and simple. You learn where you live. You better listen to Snoop. Don't trust these hoes. Man. I listen to Johnny Mathis. <laughs> Chances are. Chances are. Listen, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm Lewis Dix. Shout out to Johnny Mathis. That dude is old. Hey, I got to meet him man. once. He was a nice guy. Yeah, he went to UCLA. He played all four sports. And Johnny Johnny Mathis didn't play all four sports. He, had the he went to UCLA. Back in the day. Google that, Jazzy, on your prison computer. You, John Lemon. You fucking with my pedigree, and I don't like that. Uh oh. He went to UCLA just like um, Jackie Robinson, who played all four sports. Johnny Mac, lettered in all four sports. Johnny Mathis, yes, at UCLA. You don't know that? Why are your voice getting so high? What's wrong with you? You talking about me? Because you're like, no, he didn't. You know, so man, I, man, all right. Man. You try to go there with me, then we gonna correct all that for you. What's your two cups of whatever? Yeah, I get two cups of juicy juice. Oh, hey, listen, today's date is sucker. It's the eighth. Sucker uh, for love. Yeah, you sucker bust a whole truster. <laughs> That's your problem, punk. Captain Save a Woman. April 8th. <clears throat> Don't what bypass the, this. Rat. Oh. What'd you call me? Rat. Nothing. I'm trying to, you know, this is what's bothering me. <laughs> this, this language barrier with people, the emojis, the. Yeah, what's all that about? I mean, I was. Like, talk, I'm supposed to read all this goddamn. I was talking to my muse today about the. And we were talking, who? My muse, M U S E. And we were talking about communication. Okay. And um, you went to San Francisco State. Johnny Mathis did? Yes, sir. Where's oh, your okay. pedigree? Where's your, 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 you're a mutt. But I was thinking about 
But six then he feet, did six feet. No, he didn't play a sport, football. did he? Yeah. What? Uh, you got a call. You got a caller or you, your ear itch? What, 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 <laughs> caller? Okay, okay. Hey, caller. Hey, caller. Hey, how's it going? How are you guys doing tonight? Hey, hey, who's this? It's Dub. I got a question for you guys. Hey, Dub. Hey, Dub. Dub what's up? I'm listening, and um, like I feel how you guys are saying. Like honestly, as a person, I feel like uh, I'm more like towards the Louis Dick side of things when it comes to women. But I'm, but I know I have the capability to be like a teeter. You know what I'm saying? Now my question is, am I missing out by being a guy who wants to be in like a monogamous relationship, or should I start being more like the player side? Like, am I am I missing out on life right now? Well, first of all, can you handle it? Mm. That's you. That's the question you got to ask yourself. First of all, how 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 deep does your emotions run? Dub, what do you bring to the table? How old are you? Me, uh, I'm 27. Oh um, no. Okay. Oh no. You're supposed to be. You're not. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to be. You, you're supposed you got, to be out. Yeah. You, you have kids? No, no, no. no. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you, what are you, you doing? Yeah. You you tripping? You, you, I mean, you, you you. Where you calling from, Dub? From the East Coast. Oh man. East Coast. Could you be a little more vague? <laughs> No, wait, wait, Dub, Dub, Dub. Oh, boy. Uh, seriously, um, don't run, don't run from this knowledge. Um, um, it's not about being a player. Yeah, it, it's it, about being comfortable with yourself. It's about being. First of all, you need to address why your name is Dove. Dub. <laughs> Oh, Dub. I thought it was Dub. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, y'all just let it. Y'all just gonna let the nub, the Dub name go past. Dub. Y'all? Okay, Dub. D U B, man. Well, then I I still say the same I'm thing. Asking. You should you should figure out why your name is Dub, <laughs> and why your parents didn't finish naming you. No, I'm just joking. Listen, right. uh, Dub. Are you in a monogamous monogamous relationship right now? No, no, no. It was just. Uh, I mean, like. Well, I guess you would say uh, I'm kind of like a serial bitch, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you would say that. <laughs> You're like a Lewis Dick. Well, no, my thing is this. I think, okay, I think, and I tell my son this. You you should be married and committed to your your goal and your heart, what's important to you. Then the, the girl's going to come. You're gonna, if you like, because if you get with a girl and she doesn't understand that you have to go off and do what you have to do, those restraints, you got it. She has to come in knowing, because otherwise she doesn't have anything to say about you while you're gone. That's what I used to tell my son. They want your time. And if you don't go to college, your girl's not going to be able to say, well, he, he's off in college, girl. He's at Morehouse. That, that's a, what a girl wants to say. She don't want to say, girl, well, you, you know, he get out in six months. <laughs> so, so my thing is that if you're following your dream and you're, you're, you, and it's, and they're going to say these things to you, you know, dub, you're self-centered. All you think about is yourself. You know, yes, I do because I have to. Otherwise, I won't be able to feed you if we stay in love. If somebody else come, I got to be prepared for them. Right. So your thing is you're preparing yourself to really be in love with you because love costs. These girls, you, they don't want to be in a one-bedroom apartment. They don't want to. They want to have a car. They want to have these parties. They want to, some of them want to have new breasts. This whole world's changing for y'all. We were growing up. Our women kept what they kept. They had a breast. They had one breast. They put. You know. They, I'm just not. That's not funny. But uh, okay. Here but, it is. Here it is for me. Uh, uh, I want you to go purchase the uh, Johnny Mathis CD, <laughs> and then I want you to go purchase Sugar Free the Streets Gospel, and then you tell me who you want to be. <laughs> no, you, that's your homework. God damn it. That's your homework assignment. Fuck no. all that bullshit. You find out where you want to be in between these two artists. You know, then, watch, then watch Wait and Exhale, and then go watch The Mac. Yeah. And get back uh, with me. Hey, listen, Dub. And they call thing. us in two weeks. No, just be like me. I've seen all of those. I can. I have both sides. My thing is just go ahead and, and find someone in a couple of years, and then you, you then you start a family and then put your work in. And everything of work. Just make sure you well, enjoy. One last, one last question for you guys. How yeah. do you explain speedy situation? Like, how does speedy get like thousands of girls? What do you What do you say to that? They're They're all large. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the consistency is that they're all large. Okay, here and, it is, and, 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 no, and, here and the it real is, deal is here. a lot of, statistically, a lot of large women have low self-esteem, and he exploits that. I mean, that's just the truth. Not oh. all of them. And there's a lot of strong, you know, but he's a, there's a reason he's not with Jill Scott. Here it is, Doug. Around the globe, and since you are on the East Coast, all it's right. 34 to 1, women to men, in all ethnicities so if you want to go asian you want to go whatever german sweden whatever it's 34 to 1 so you winning right now yeah that's true 
So just keep that in mind. So pick and choose anything that you want out there and interview it. And don't be common. Don't be like everybody else. She's got to have Come something on, man, unique your, about yourself. You're in your 20s. These are your player years. Man. Right. 27. Man, yeah. don't listen to them. No player. Play. Be a player yeah, about. your player years. Be a yeah. player about having people say, man, I want to be like Dub. Not like. Right. No, let's not get hung up on the word player. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Don't get hung up on the word. Be on the word dub. He should be able to pick and choose. If he want to go just sit in the park and just talk with a young lady, he can do that. If he wants to go to dinner with another young lady, he can do that. If he want to go to the movies with another young lady, he can do that. And then make the decision on which way he wants to go and build his own woman. Right. But, but he still, he's that was still a great being answer. a player, though. That was a great, I wouldn't have said it if it wasn't. That, that was a, oh, hilarious. I, you know, Dub, I <laughs> think that was, I think, um, Exclamation Daddy point. Daddy Teeter, bitches, lined it up for you. Go put your work in. Get uh, the Johnny right. Mathis Keep and listening. get the sugar free. Keep listening. You're going to learn. And uh, once you find that right woman, get that album, I Want You, Marvin Gaye. Oh, yeah, all please right. get that. Yeah, yeah, get that. Get that one. That, that is it. All right. All right. Going back to your uh, personal room. All right, Dub. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just snicker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fun talking to grown men. Uh, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Uh-oh. Hey, you're, uh, you've are you landed in the... Where? In a man's world. In a man's world. In a man's... Well, uh, uh, the, it, the, it's comfortable here at Morris Media Studios. Mm-hmm. Um, it's always good to be behind a locked gate. That was a great phone call because he was, he was really trying to figure it out. And that's, that's good. And at 27, man, I remember 27. I was, <laughs> man... Woo! In fact, no, Johnny Mathis gave up an Olympic career. Are you still talking about Johnny Mathis? Yes. Yeah, because I made a great point. I'm yes. wrong school, but I made a great point. What, what kind from what, what 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 sport? Track and field. That's because he was chasing <laughs> little Richard. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> but I'm bump. I'm gonna get you, Richard. Now that's the step. <laughs> Uh, chances are I'm, I'm tootie fruity yes. <laughs> yeah. no you're no seriously <laughs> you had the perm back in the day uh, yeah, you chased each other I need that hairstylist yeah. uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, we uh, were talking about women uh, we were talking about love and, and lust and how you meet that one that turns you out and then and, and that's what usually happens. Guy gets married, guy gets married, gets bored, meets this little girl who does things that the wife won't do, then he gets all hooked up. But you're running you're running past it like it's it's really general like that. There's a time frame for when this stuff happened. Like a guy like Dub who's twenty seven, he needs to know like when does it get stale? When does when does the whole trying to rekindle and make it work, when does that play out? When is, you know? When is the when is the hammer hit the nail? When you get ex parte. Um ex parte. <laughs> it's a great word. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh, um uh then you pretty much say, Okay, somebody wants to talk to me. She wants to talk. Oh, process uh, server. Um <laughs> you find me. Excuse me, yeah. Hello, are you Louis Sticks? Hey man, hey hey, excuse me. Hey, Louis Sticks, right? Yeah, hey, here you go, man. It's for you. Uh, but you got to get the follow-up phone call after that, though. That's the funny part. But um, that's a lot of that going on right now. Oh yeah. It's, 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 now, now let's let's be okay. We have another. Let's call. be serious. <laughs> yeah. Is this oh. hello caller? Yo, this X is talking about lust and love. What up, X? We talking about lust and love, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let me lay it down for you like this, man. These women that's out here single right now, man. Either they want to be single. But there's nothing they can do because the brothers that are single right now, it's not in style to be in a relationship, man. Now, mm. I, this coming from somebody that's in a relationship. I'm, I'm, I'm seven years, eight years strong. I don't even know what it is. I, ain't, I lost count. That's how long I've been in a relationship. Mm-hmm. But these brothers out here, they whole thing, they lie to get what they want. They say whatever whatever it, 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 it is to, 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 to get in the drawers or whatever. Don't do that. And then, you don't want to talk about Jeremiah. <laughs> Girl, you Hilarious. know. I, I, I. <laughs> Stay hanging. No, a, hang in there, ex. Hang in there. Finish the no, conversation. No, no, I'm, with you, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm just, I'm just trying to build with the conversation. I, I'm not with the ignorance this time around. All right. But, um, no, that, that, that's basically it boils down mm-hmm. to that. 
You want to get up and walk around for a minute and then come sit back down and talk <laughs> and hold your jaw or something? You need to do something, you need to do something youthful. You want to text us? <laughs> you, know what, you know what, Lewis? You remind me of this rice I ate the other day, man. It had Uncle Ben on the cover. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that way that's, hey, I know. I see. Are you looking through that old Negro joke book, huh? Hey, listen, X. It makes my point about the youth. You're going to have to start talking to people more. And getting out. This is great. I love that you ch- you challenge yourself three times today. Now wait a minute. Now to his, his defense, he's in a relationship, so he's not out with the single guy doing a single thing, lying and all. He's not in that lane. No, I right. love. I, lo- I Hey, I have some. I, I would not if I didn't like. So you X can't. You can't berate be talking. him for being hey, in a relationship. Not lying. Everybody's I'm not, not lying. No, I'm not. Some per- people are straight to the point with they want. Everybody's not lying. Who's calling you, you know? X? Somebody just they're calling, calling us. Oh, somebody calling us? We got OG on the line, X. We got to go. No, X, X. You got it. You got it. You got it. I, I call back in. I call back in. Yeah, for sure. Well, we know that. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> we, kinda, we figured that out three That's times. Hysterical. Oh, <laughs> uh, But he's in a relationship, so he's dealing seven with Seven years. That years right. in. He, Man, can't even, he can't even remember he's been in this so long. X, 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 look, he's X, putting his work in. You can in. tell X is in a relationship. He called us three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, he ain't got he nobody ain't out running the streets. He ain't got with nobody his boy. else to talk to. Uh, we have another caller. Oh, what? X, welcome back. <laughs> nah, it's from uh, Chris from Connecticut. Oh. <laughs> oh, Chris. All right, the hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold hold another on. guy in a relationship. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> What's up, player? What's up, Chris? How are you? I'm tired, man. Y'all, 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 it's just late over here on the East Coast, man. It's, I got to bring the show on earlier. All right, man. We, look, we brought it up an hour earlier. Stop punking out. All right. How, hey, how's the family? Oh, hey, they great. Yeah, yeah. They are, they Everybody great. sleep? Everybody tucked in? Yeah, they are. Nah. Your alarm I'm set? Nah, I'm off tomorrow. So I'm no, I'm, I said, oh, so I meant your alarm to your house, not your alarm clock. See, that's the brother that's thinking about work. Yeah. No, I'm off tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> said he's tired. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you. Yeah. He went, oh, he he went right to the yeah. point. He's like, that one. That he's, like, so he's like, hell no, my alarm's on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I hear what you meant when you said that. Yeah, yeah, he, went, he went right to the alarm. alarm he yeah. was answering his wife. Yeah. She's like, Your alarm said I'm off tomorrow. Damn, baby. Relax. Can a nigga rest? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about the house, baby. baby? Oh. And that's how shit go wrong right there. Right there, yeah, right, right. Right there. Right, damn, damn, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck your weekend up already. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> that's going to make Chris flinch all weekend. That's well, a great point. Well, right good, there. good. Well, congratulations. You got Everybody needs a day off. What you doing? You doing anything tomorrow special? Um, my son starts on uh, flag football tomorrow, so I'm like, I'm right. nervous for him. So it's uh, how old is your son? He's a uh, five. Oh wow, okay. he's five. Did you did you have any talent? Yeah, I did. Um, I was a uh, all American track and field. Oh, well, you should be all right, man. Look, if mine survived, I have no talent. <laughs> See, hey, I mean, it's I mean, everybody got talent. You just gotta. Keep trying, son. No, he wow. really he didn't have no talent. Yeah, I had no talent. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have no talent. Hey, are are you excited? Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, it's, I'm I'm nervous and excited at the same time because it's gonna be my first time. I'm like coaching him, so it's like I'm excited oh. but nervous at the same time. Are so you dressing like, him? I dress mine. I make sure he's right socks. Is, so is your son? Is he gonna start? Yeah, he's starting there, but they got their own own jerseys and stuff. So so. All right, what position? Uh, wide receiver. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Skill position. Because if you say guard, we like. Oh. So is nah, it mixed nah. or is it all us? Who's who's on who's on the field with them? What do you mean? Like are are, are, are there more black kids, more Thank white you. kids? Oh man, it's um. What's the racial it's, makeup? It's, it's, it's actually diverse. I, I live in Florida now, but oh, still, oh, oh, yeah, he was out there with athletes. Florida? Yeah, he's out there with athletes. Yeah. A lot of, lot of so, speed. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. Of at the wide receiver position too. Yeah. yeah. Well, good for you. Now, now, now. um you only have one? No, I have two. A son and a daughter. Yeah. Oh, okay. And how old is the girl? She's one, one and a half. Oh, oh good. Yeah. That's they, just they still. They both, both by the same woman. Oh, good. Oh, ah, God. funny. <laughs> That's twice. Two <laughs> for two. We remember that, Chris. <laughs> two for two. Good for you. Uh, and how's your parents and everybody? Everyone good? Family? Yeah, my family. My family's good. They all good. You know. And, um, that's that's probably my greatest gift. Is my entire family. I'm telling you, man, it's nothing like waking up to that family every day. Putting hey, you know what the in. greatest gift is to us? We got to take a break. Hey, listen, Chris, uh, good luck. On, what's your boy's name? He's Chris also. Oh, All Chris right. Jr. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Good luck to Chris Jr. Good luck to you, Coach. Have a good game. 
Oh, thank you. Much respect, Pete. Daddy, my oh, flag won't stay up. <laughs> <laughs> they do have them punk moments, though. <laughs> hey, listen, but not his boy, because uh, if he's a, if he track and field, it's a tough sport. Uh, 323-293-3375. Oh, I'm Lewis Dix. CDP. Jeff Arnold. And you're in the... In a man's world. Yes. Uh, man's Morris world. Media Studios. We'll be back. That's a nice Excuse song, me. man. That's well, why nice are you song. singing it? Cause that's a nice song. That's a road song. That's that's what that's you, Neo and your Negro. Well, that's the song you put on. You know it's gonna be a good ride up. It's gonna be that's good. That's a great song. Cause woman, she got her credit card. You got yours. She, when she say I'm going shopping, you ain't got to come out of your pocket. You pull in. You know she drop her card. You Man. drop your card. You eat that. That it's just good. Now, you when actually does this don't. Happen? I mean, it's tough sometimes when you go out. You go somewhere with a woman and you come back broke, broke because she didn't Why would put you do nothing that? because. You know, she, because you trying to impress. We all, I don't know, I don't know why we always try to why impress. Why your voice so high? <laughs> <laughs> Got emotional. Oh, okay. Why do we always try to impress broke women? They're broke. Because they want to hit. Because they're women. We want it. Because we yeah. want to have sex with yeah. them. No, they're and, women. No, because, so, I mean. You're so attracted true. to the female anatomy. You're attracted. No matter where it's stand or where it's at, you're still attracted where, to Women was like, are you weak in that minute? Yeah, yes. What's up? May I ask a oh, question, Lord. gentlemen? <laughs> go on, female. Fact Frida. He said, go on, female. <laughs> <laughs> so, was there a time where it didn't matter what a woman's financial status was? Because nowadays, it seems like that's important to a man now. Yeah. No, I think because it's being... Uh, it, it, it's more of a of, of a public thing now that um, it can cost you by interacting with a woman in different ways. Before, when you met a woman, you took her out and you you fed her and all that. You, you never got to to loans where she needed something to like you know rent or a bill or yeah. you, you know you never got now you you get to that in the dinner. Right. That you know she got bills or she got issues or she need she, this. She brings out that list, you know, and but that. She's a strong woman on right. Facebook, <laughs> right? Right, but she need all that. And then you, you know that, and even like the second date, you find all that out, and you realize, and that's a, and if you, like I said, if you've been out there and you a player and you know the game, it's not a you player. know what's coming. It's not a player. It's, well, if I said you've been out there, you're aware of it. Maybe not player, but you're aware of of. You're doing your research. It's research. And I'm, this is all before social media. And women know too. They know guys that they can they. Um, that they target right they look right. at their place and they like when a woman comes into to my place she, she didn't realize she ain't gotta give up nothing <laughs> I, I never was comfortable asking a man for something money or otherwise really never no you never asked a man for no dad <laughs> I have asked for that <laughs> what did you do stop lying <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about money. Same thing. Hey, same thing. Price of that's because goes up. You're, that's because your father this is was a dick in your, dollar bill. Huh? Your, your father was in your life. Um, so is that why? Yeah, it's part reason. Part reason. Because I have friends that do it like it ain't nothing, Ask for and money? they get it. Wow. Yeah, men are weak like that. We we want to. It's like Zoe so. had that great thing. Captain Save a. That's E forty man. Oh E forty. Yeah, Captain Save a hole. All right, well, excuse me, man. Hey, I love being corrected. Thank you. I, mean, I meant that, really. But uh, Now with the social media, it's like, you're going to bring me to task, I'm going to bring you to task. For the last 40-some-odd years, women have been taken to dinner, women have been done, women have been treated nicely. Yeah. Now it's like, but, but you, can't, the, you can't get it back. And, the, cause there, and then there's this thing of everybody, everyone wants to be appreciated. And Correct. there's no appreciation anymore. Right. It's like taken for granted. It's a dude generation. You can't even say thank you. Social media has really done women in. It really has. So, 323-293-3375. Uh, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Uh, and you are in? A man's world. A yeah. Man's we got world. about 40 minutes. Tighten uh, up your belts. We're going to ride this out. Straight uh, no chaser. We talked sandwiches. about when we first came on. We Man. said hello. Everyone had a good week. Um, we talked about my state championship. For I was what? part of the OJ uh, series, which was fun. Uh, it people, was fun. People we liked. Yeah, Murder was, was fun. Well, I mean, <laughs> 20 years later, yeah, it's fun. So he was up for parole, then they brought the knife out, and then they brought the series out. So they were just trying to keep that man just locked up he forever. Ain't getting out. 33 years, he's going to die there, man. 
You think so? Yeah, they're not letting him out. Why 33, though? What, anybody That's got what they to... gave him. I'm the... saying, what's the science behind that, though? Uh, uh, from murdering the two people. But that that's not what he went for. He went for kidnapping. In Nevada. Kidnapping. They own laws. So that's the max they can give him, 33. They maxed him out. Yep. They maxed two out. OJ. Well, he's supposed to do nine to 33. But they gave him the whole... But no, he goes up. He's up for parole next uh, next May. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, 2017. He up for parole. So does the whole finding of the knife and the whole nah. this show, is is that going to weigh in on him not getting out? Yep. You think? Oh, oh, yeah. They did it for a reason. They ain't letting him out. Right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Done. Sorry. Dada. But he's still on NFL Films. So... Uh, he, he, still got 30, he, he got that 30-30 coming out next watch uh, him. in May. 30-30 is a good. Yeah, that's good. Um, Best thing ESPN. He got railroaded. That's all I'm going to say. Who? OJ. Oh, you like that former Black Panther to put his fists up. Hey, listen. Um, you have to do with anything. Just because you I, speak I, out, you got to be a Black Panther? Get the no, fuck the out guy of is here. a Black Panther. On the tr- on, <laughs> you didn't watch it. I watched it. One of the, I didn't one, watch one, it. one of the jurors was a former Black Panther guy, and at the end, he put his fist up to OJ. And what's wrong with that? Bam. They didn't show that on TV. They did. They showed it in the series. They didn't show it in, in regular TV. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. the juror was sir. Sequestered. Sequestered. For nine yeah. months. So that's why we didn't know. We never, we saw him afterwards, I think. It's easy to say what happened after the fact. Hey, ask, oh, I almost hit one with that one. 323-293-3375. It is uh, going to be an exciting uh, summer. It's going to be hot. Spring is. That's for damn sure. Uh, I'm excited about the summer. Why are you um, excited, LD? Because summertime, no, it's just summertime is always good. People out outdoors running, kids, summertime, and Summer camps and, you know, it's not a good exercise. Reminds me, you know, being back home, growing up in the summertime. I mean, that was always my fun time, summertime. In the summertime, out of school, yeah. Football in the streets. Yeah, football in the streets. uh, Basketball. uh, You know, staying up late, you know, sitting outside, talking, the conversation, the relationships. Did y'all have stoops in Philly? Yeah, big time. And we, we, you know, but that's what I think it's missing. Um. Now is interaction, conversation, holding. I saw some a family walking, and, and they had a little girl, and, and everyone kept trying to make the little girl walk with some kind of contraction as opposed to holding her. And I was like, dang. Well, you know, you start thinking, we were growing up, you know, it's like somebody that loved you held you. You know, and, and when you're in, you know, you're in upper class neighborhood, you, you see a nanny holding the baby. A uh, stroller. And then, you know, in, in lower class, you know, the mom was holding the daughter's baby. But, uh, <laughs> sorry. Get a piggyback ride. Soon. So, so like, in your neighborhood, who were the nannies back then? My, it was your aunties and your grandmother. And sisters, sisters, right? sisters, no, sisters your grandmothers. Auntie, whoever loved you yep. took care of her. We don't have those jobs no more. Nope. Who's got those jobs? The Latinos got those jobs yep. now. Well, at least, the, I mean, it's a good thing coming out of the kids are bilingual. But that's what I'm saying. This is why I'm letting you know this is how change happens. And people, I like they don't know how shit changes. Well, thank you for, uh, for acknowledging that change. And we'll see you on the CNN in the 2000s <laughs> after we watch the 70s and the 80s. Uh, Have you even watched that? Yes. The 80s? I've been watching the, um, the, the take of the White House race for the White House, too. Oh, yeah. No. When they take over, but... Um, the um, yeah, the eighties. I watched a little bit. I watched that yesterday. I like. I watched the sixty one. And your boy, Dr. Cosby, when he came out there and he made that speech and was talking about diversity and man, and this was in the sixties when he said that a few people clapped, and a lot of people didn't. This was the CNN, John. Yeah, from the sixties. Yeah, I, I like that. I like when you can go back, start over. That was that was a very powerful piece. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna go check it out. You didn't see it. I'm I'm repeat this. I'm gonna go check it out. Infidel. You didn't see it. I would have said I'm gonna check it out again. I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Uh, you are sitting in the man's world. And uh, we thank world. all you callers. Uh, uh, I thought it was Dove, but it was du- it was what is it? Then? You said you thought it was Dove, but it was Dub. Now dub. that's not his real name. Why are you? Why are you why? so anal about that, man? About me just, how is that anal by saying that I don't think that's his real name? Okay, you wanted to call him Dove. His name wasn't Dove, it was Dub. Right, I, I Dub heard Dove. City. Oh, you heard Dove. Right, Dub. you heard, heard Dove. Heard D-O-V-E. Yes. The soap. I didn't hear Dub. Right. 
Gotta keep up. Don't be so. He didn't sound like. He sound more like a dove. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, did, he did chuckle I, like a dove. I mean, he sounded more like a cry. dove. He didn't I'm sound like he can't dove. Hear like when the doves cry. Yeah, I'm I, only 27. I, he's trying to find his way. See, I didn't hear. I mean, that's what these kids gotta, you know, name themselves appropriately. But he's following you. He said he wants to be more like you. you. So um, I'm but a that dove. So that's that your dove. I'm a dove. You released your that dove. Was DK. DK. Was, DK was the. He wants to be more like you. Okay. That dove was is Dwight Kilpatrick. Yeah. Dwight is a grown man with kids and going camping with other dudes. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the sleeping next I to a kid. I refuse to look and, at the and stars. sleeping next to a kid that's not his own too close to where he gets a cold outdoors. Yeah, like, on the stomach. Yeah, I'm Looking like. Look at that well, caterpillars. Yeah, I was like, that was suspect. Ooh, that I was, was like, a long one I was right like, there. I, afterwards, I was like, POTUS, are we obligated to send this tape to the authorities? <laughs> <laughs> are we obligated? <laughs> because and he wonder why his daughter don't come home. Right. Like, Y'all lame. Every issue this guy. Every, yeah, I'm this out here bucking. Yeah, he's talking about he, 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 I'm like, he in a, he in a tent, outdoor. What a dude. What a dude. With another dude. Sending the kids, the kids to go get wood. He got sick from one kid who was, well, how close was that kid to you? In the outdoors. Yes. That's why I said it was indoor or outdoor. That's camp. some cult stuff right there. We'll talk Boy, to him Scott, next yeah, week. There you go. <laughs> We'll see if he calls us collect next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hilarious. Shit. Yeah, right, you know. right. Hey, you should do a show like that, Potus. We just have people call collect from, <laughs> from the prison. That'd be, that'd be a funny. Can we hook that up? Now, that'd be a funny reality show there, man. <laughs> that'd be a funny reality. You just take calls. Yo, man, such, such that. Yo, post me on Facebook. Like me. Oh, hey, good. listen, um. So you women, uh, we've what, what do women do now, LD? No, people think I don't like. Man, I love women. Now here, here's my. I want to pose this question to you. Sure. Now, you're a proponent of the whole marriage thing, starting a family, and that's when we discuss with Dub. Now, a great catch. Where do you find a great catch? Is it the laundromat? Is it the church? Is it the supermarket? Is it at the car wash? Is it at the where do you find a great catch? All right, real quick, sorry. <clears throat> I got an AARP alert. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so all you people my age looking up, scam alert, new trends in credit card fraud. So uh, be alert. Oh, that's old. Oh, is that old? <clears throat> that's old. Like right. your phone, my friend. All right, I'm just saying. I'm just, <laughs> that's my fr- Hey, I don't, I don't go past these. Wait, alerts. go back. Did you say Martin Luther King just got shot? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get your hand out of my pocket. Right. Fuck him next. Come on, man. The- and then you talk about my phone. Right. Upgrade. You better upgrade uh, fast. Oh, that's funny. I actually thought you were serious. Say <laughs> Martin Luther King got shot. That's funny. Um, uh, uh, okay, I'm sorry. You said the question. Where do you meet? A great catch. Not a catch. A great catch. Where would be the vicinities? Laundry mat. Grocery store, church. And that that you know that word you're using is hard to apply. Great, great, great catch. Uh, wherever library, where, wherever wherever hey. Barack met Michelle. Did he meet her in, in school? What? What, what did you say? Did you meet her? In, did you meet her? In, I was trying to think. It was, <laughs> it was South was Side of Chicago. Yeah. Mario. Where Jazzy, you? you would know that show. <clears throat> South Side of Chicago. Thank you, Jazzy. So I mean, meet him in a bank. Ooh. Ah, let me see. Ooh. All right, let's think of this. All right, you're you're No, I like that. I like that. I like that. Because bank is good. Yeah. A bank is good. Well, she know how much you make. <laughs> yeah. Just know how much you make. Not just, you know, filling out your card. You know your credit score and all that. Customer service women in the works. You can't meet them. Are they? I'm with you on that. You can't. All right. We have very, a caller. Very uh, is it a male or female? Well, good. We don't need any women. I'm glad the women are just sitting back oh, listening I do and learning. Need women. We do need a woman. To what call. up, homie? Y'all. Who is this? Lewis, your beard is weird. <laughs> X. Y'all. Welcome back. We talking. We talking about a great catch, right? Yes, great sir. Great catch. Yes, sir. Let me, let me let me tell you something that's all facts right here. I used to I used to think in my head that you could find a great catch. I don't know in the library. Somewhere where you can read at the, on the job site, you know she got a job. No, no, no. You don't find a great catch. A great catch finds you, man. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's it's as simple as that, man. Your bitch just chose me. It's like that. It, it Somebody ain't never was been watching no the Mac. Speaking of the Mac, let's talk about all this Mac Jeff Arnold got on his face. 
Somebody been watching the Mac. Your edge up look drawn on, nigga. That's all right, though. All right. You look like you dressed up like a tube sock. That's all right. Let's, let's keep going with the conversation. Hit me with your best we're shot. About, we're talking about the great catch. Louis yes. Six. You, you, you had a great catch until she divorced you. Let's talk about that. Oh. You know, X. I know. I'm not, I'm not, these aren't jokes. I'm just. I just want. Okay, shit happens in life. You know what I'm saying? It goes that way. You Sometimes wanna, we got to speak on the real. I mean, these aren't jokes. You want to talk about it? You want me to explain it? You want me? What do you? You mean? ain't got to explain nothing to me, brother. I, I already understand. The shit didn't work out. Sometimes things in life don't work out. I've been locked up a few times. Shit didn't work. Out. So how does it feel now that you you don't have to call people collect? Say that again. <laughs> oh, now you don't want to listen. You yeah. want to talk. All of a sudden, you can't hear. Fuck out Phone here. check, motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. How's it, how's it feel? I mean, how's honestly, it feel to watch another man's draws, yeah. nigga? How's it feel to walk in the shower alone? I'm saying I got a juice for a cake, though. You got a what? A juice Never for mind, a cake, man. nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's jail talk. Sorry, but I'm so glad I am ignorant to that. It's a barter I'm a, I'm a, system. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, hey, I'm a beast in spades, though. Yeah, I bet. Okay, yeah. okay. You can do all that. All you, right, can't, yo, you, can't you, can't right, you can't vote. You can't vote. You can't vote. Lights out. <laughs> little felon. <laughs> a little felon. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Louis, you want to be an elitist so bad. Little lonely you want to be a lonely felon. Oh. so bad. Little lonely fella. You done lost points, man. You called us <laughs> four times, man. You can't you can't be hard and call somebody four times. He's th- in a relationship. Yeah. He's not hanging out with the fellas. Well, you know what? He, 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 he don't, I mean, come on, man. You, unless you, come How on. How you really feel, LD? I mean, X, I like you, but you didn't drop your draws calling four <laughs> times, homie. You just can't do that. You just can't. I have all respect uh, I see if we were on what's the man code on that uh, man be. code is four times you just can't call oh. three other grown men four times and then say uh, I he, mean he's in prison he used to talk no, to no I mean yeah. just can't just say uh, y'all wanna know the real deal y'all wanna know the real deal I mean I mean, you You're used to looking at the mirror out the cell and I shit. I guess like, so. You got iron. Make a grilled cheese sandwich with iron or something. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, don't they have some solitary tricks or something? I mean, you can get through. Th- I mean, it was in a span of 40 minutes that you called back in four Your times. You're supposed thing. to have Come more on. stamina than that. What kind of jail was you in? Yo, lockdown. Man, man you, you, man. He missed you, man. He missed you. Yeah. Man, I Better guess that's what happened. Take that out of it. I, uh, that's what I take. That ex, ex. Yeah. He, he, where his, where his parents? Where his, where his, I appreciate man. your ex. Man. I like you, ex. But that was, I had to clown you, man. You just can't be talking all that. Tra- How you gonna take me on? <laughs> <laughs> Back in a few calls ago, right. you wanted to challenge me, right. and you going in the ex right off, and you didn't call me four times. You, I'm with on. you, LD. I'm man, with you. Matter of fact, oh. you, I'm gonna make you go get me a simply orange juice in a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> you, you take his lunch. Fact, you gonna make mess around. <laughs> Mess around, we gonna have you. Tray over here, we boy. gonna fly you in so you can be seen making sandwiches for us. <laughs> Put you in a little skirt, have you walking around here serving us? Fuck a sandwich, I want to talk. Yeah, and some and, and some boots. <laughs> wow. <laughs> go hard, huh? <laughs> go hard or go home, man. Dare bet not call back a fifth time. Dare bet not. Cause that, and then we gonna make it. We gonna, you dare bear not. All right, we gotta call it. If you, go. if, you call, if you call again, we gonna make you wear a G string underneath. You call five times, you're fruity. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Who, who is this? This not, is Aaron Glad, man, from hey, Detroit. Hey, hey Aaron. Aaron. That's I was reciting Aaron. That's I knew I was right. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Hey, what's going on? Did uh, hey, uh did X pay you to call? <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all cellmates. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cold. No. Hey, I'm sorry. First of all, how are you, Aaron? I'm doing well, doing well. Good. I was uh, closing up the shop, and I had the show on. How's the weather then, man? Man, it's cold. It's snowing. Oh, it's, man, that's it's, bad. It's the Prince song. Oh, Sometimes shit. it snows in April. Hey, mm, you, you, Detroit. Just, you just posted something, Aaron. What was it in regards to your family? What, what what happened? Something positive. Um, oh, my 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 son is graduating from high school. Yeah, okay. congratulations. congratulations, congratulations. Well, yeah. he ain't graduate. He ain't graduate. Man, look, his son trust is. Me. No, put trust his son on the phone. We can graduate him. <laughs> no, no, no graduate this nigga. No, that's funny. Where is he going to school? He where what high what college? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's just staying local. He's going to a community college. But that, hey, that's college. Oh, yeah, 13th look, grade. Yeah, what are you talking about, man? That's, that's, that's a step forward. At least he ain't at a beauty 13th school. 13th grade. At least he ain't talking about, I'm going to do wigs. <laughs> Is he an athlete? 
Yeah, he plays. Uh, he led it in uh, soccer and track. Oh, oh, nice. yeah. oh, good. So now he's going to go for yeah. gymnastics? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, catch <No>. me! <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's going in the he's going in the broadcast. Oh, okay. oh. Right. oh, so his goal. His voice got deep when he said that. Oh. He's going in the broadcast. Is it going to be sports or journalism? He going in the uh, journalism, but oh, he's okay, concentrating cool. on um, majoring in children ed- children's education. Oh, good for him. Right. Good, hey, good, good. Good luck with good. that scam. Yeah, you no, go. you and your wife should be proud of him. Now, is that the only one? No, we got five kids, five grandkids, best wife in the world, man. One of, them, right. is, one of them ain't doing so well. Which one? The what, five kids? Yeah, so well? yeah. yeah. I mean, one of them ain't doing good. No, they all doing good. Wait, that was, wait. Which one stole your car? Oh, wait, Aaron, <laughs> wait, Aaron, no. Which one is locked up with X? <laughs> no, Aaron, didn't you just send a, didn't you put a post out about you and your wife, your, your queen for so many years? Yeah, man, my, that's what I was calling for because I heard TDP say, where do you find a good catch? Thank you, sir. And I think a good catch is like a good opportunity. You have to know when you see it, and it can come from anywhere. Like my wife and I, we met at work, okay. you know, just kind of chitting and chatting. And, man, my wife is, is, is the best wife ever. I mean, she's practical, sensible, beautiful. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. Sorry you want to hear it. But no, I want to hear it because I... <laughs> that's no. just jokes here. No, we just, no, I want to hear because oh, I... Okay. Go ahead. Continue. No, continue. Because a, a, a brother that came brag on this woman is a is a sorry brother. Speak you know, on it. Then, How so long you been with your queen? I, we've been together for 13, been married for 11. Okay. Wow. Good for you, man. And, and she deserves it. I'm now, where was the job, Aaron? Where was the job you were working at when you met her? Yeah, we used to work down at the uh, newspaper together. And then, at, so af- after y'all got caught stealing, then what happened? <laughs> nah. <laughs> was she driving no, the truck actually, and you was throwing the newspaper? No, we, we were a blended family. So she was coming out of a marriage. I was coming out of a marriage. And I didn't know that she was. And we just, you know, started talking. And so you're the real Brady Barch. Yeah, I eventually asked her out on a date. And she said yes. And. We ain't looked back since. You know what that? We all know. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, how long did it take you to hit? Oh. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I didn't do any of that until I put the ring on it. Okay. See, okay. that's a man. That's, yeah. that's a but man. But also, right we all know as men, quiet is kept. For another man to step in and, and treat the other kids like his is much respect. Man. Claudine. Yeah. Much oh, respect. Yeah. Much respect. That's, that's a hard job, man. I don't went through the "you ain't my daddy" to prove that oh. I am your daddy. Yo, yeah. Hey, I've hey. been your daddy. I've been your daddy longer than your daddy been your daddy. Hey, the ones who the ones who are your kids tell you that. My daddy dressed way better than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my dad. Yeah, my, at least my daddy can know how what fish to buy. So uh, yeah, well, now wait a minute. Now, now, now. now, Aaron, let's not run past that because a lot of men are dealing with that or are getting ready to deal with that. So, what was the emotional energy in you when you first heard that for the first time that you ain't my daddy? How did you handle? that? Yeah, how'd you handle that? Yeah, great question. Uh, the first emotion was anger. Okay. And then I had to explain to the child on that, on that, see, it was a girl. It was the girl. Uh-huh. It was the one, two, third born. Mm-hmm. I had to explain to her, okay, look, this is my house. This is a my room. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, we could do this the easy way, but we can do this the hard way. <laughs> and she tried the hard way at first, and uh, she found out that she couldn't win that way. So now she how, got along with the program. How old was she? She was nine. Okay. Okay. She was nine when we got married, spoiled rotten. Okay. And uh she got out of it. Today, she's a student, uh she's a she's a junior in college. She's going into forensic medicine. Uh she's doing well. Oh, how's wow. your, how's your strength. relationship now? Is it, is it a lot better, stronger? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, in fact I told her, you know, you know, her dad kinda of buzzes in and out. Okay. But I told her if I don't give you away at your wedding, that's going to be the ultimate slap in my face. Wow. Like wow. I told her, I've been your dad longer than your dad has been your dad. Right, and right. He just can't pop up and give you away, you know, without paying any dues. And I think I paid more dues than his fa- her well, father <clears throat> ever did. Well, one thing we know for sure, uh, as a man, I know, even if she makes the wrong decision or, you know. You put, you put your work in. You know, yeah. we know that. And then yeah, you'll sure. step back and let her have her day and let, let, let him think to everyone to know. And you won't you won't mess that up. That's just you're not built yeah. that way. So because the other kids yeah. will be looking. So much respect. So listen, if she doesn't let you walk much down respect, the aisle, yeah. call us, and we'll come to the wedding. <laughs> no, we'll we'll come to the wedding. We'll All come right. to the wedding. Well, I am gonna call you. I'm gonna let you guys go. But hey, Lou, thanks for wearing my shirt, sir. Um, I appreciate you guys. I've been trying to call to tell you that because uh, before, but I've been falling asleep because I've been up late. 
All right, well, hey, well, you should do more. We should get beanies. I need a beanie like this that says FBI. There you go. Hmm. Nice beanie okay, like this. I can get, FBI. I can get that for you. Yeah, but keep it small. Not, not, I like the light ones like this. You ain't take another. It's two other motherfuckers here, too. Yeah, Jeff is Jeff is all about parents, too. So like, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you because we want to make sure we take care of you. We don't want you to send stuff. It costs money. So well, we'll, let, let me just say we'll this, find Aaron. that out from let me just poetess, say this, okay? before we go. You are not my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep, hey, keep I, working. I wanted to cut you inside. <laughs> keep working hard, Aaron. Much respect to you and the family, man. Yeah, that, all right, respect. Guys, much love, respect, man. Respect, Aaron. Man, I don't all love right. you, but much respect. Detroit. No, I'm just kidding. He's, oh, he's from Detroit. Yeah. Motor, Motor City. Motor, Motor City. City man. Oh, don't drink the water. Oh, too late. That's Flint. Flint. Yeah. Oh, all right. Drink but that. that was that was a that was a great call because yes. that is an emotion that men do have to deal with with the blended family situation. Is that you ain't my daddy, and you know it's that. hard to step into that situation. Ooh, man. Let's hard. go on Maury now, then. Snatch him up. Uh, three two three. Two nine three 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 seven five three two three two nine three 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 seven five. Sorry about that. Great call. Uh, by the way, whoever cleaning the mic, it smells good. Um, just FYI, <laughs> uh, we're here at Morris Media Studios. Uh, you can uh, hit us at www.morrismediastudios.com. We build in 2015. There's so many great shows going on here. It's 16 now. All right. Well, they're still building. So, so many great shows going on. Uh, Alonzo. Never put a last number on her. Alonzo's not here anymore. Well, that's oh. why I said we don't listen to Alonzo anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You didn't hear me? You didn't hear that? Uh, you beefing now? No. Oh. No, he like, just no. decided to do it at his house. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you know, it's cool. People do what they want. Um, yeah. Uh, the, exactly. the two girls, I'm interested in that. What, what are they doing? What are they bringing? These, these two girls I saw. Uh, there are two young ladies mm. that. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Do habit. a lifestyle type show. And what what kind of life are, yeah. did they come from? Well, they have like in you know entertainment, news, sports. Are Won't you look at their show? Are they you funny? Gonna... They're not. It's not a comedy show. Oh, okay. mm. <laughs> All right. And okay, cool. And how now? You should be on that show. That's not funny. I, hilarious. So I, I was. I'm saying that, asking that to get to the point because. Um, you know, we beat around it. We, you know, we we, t- we had a meeting. Uh, we understand that there was a show Tuesday night. That yes, sir. Premiere debuted. Um, yeah, it was funny because the name of the show is called Mad Marv's uh, uh, Comedy, Comedy Lounge. Lounge, but Jeff comes on like it's. Jeff, uh, what's your last name? Arnold's <laughs> Boy. Comedy Lounge. He didn't even let Marv introduce his, introduce his own show. What Jeff introduced it? Yeah, he came on. Yeah, this is that 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 that. I'm Jeff Arnold. This is my like. No, nigga. I no no. I started off to the left. I said I'm Jeff Arnold. But it's shouldn't Nancy Johnson? Shouldn't he open the And I said, show and then the host, show. your host, uh, Mad Marv. So uh, you're Ed McMahon, and he's. Uh, oh, okay. I get it now. <laughs> okay. All right. See, so, she's trying to cause a problem. Yeah, already. What's the time? Seven to eight. So they 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 do an hour. Yes. Good for him. Yeah, it's good. Now, did now now was the female funny? Carly Carr. Oh, that's who that was. Yeah, happily divorced Carly Carr. Yeah, okay. she was funny. And um, and uh, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> really. Did they have guests on? Yeah, we had guests. Yeah, I had a community guest from Save Our um, Save Black, Black Boys. Boys Lives. Community is that with a Q? Save Black Boy Lives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and did they save anybody? No, not yet. Oh, oh <laughs> not yet. <laughs> so what's up with the whole Black Lives Matter thing? What, what, what's going on with that? And my problem with Black Lives Matter is... is Who's that, the, it's funded by George... It's, uh, it's funded by George Soros. Soros, yeah. And th- the only problem, I mean, it's a great, you know, organization... Until you get shot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but they... Yo, yo. Know, to me, they have the wrong events. I mean, they should be protesting the hell. We got to stop the black on black shit first. I now, mean, Chicago's real heavy. Yeah. I mean, we right so now. quick to jump when a white officer shoots a black kid. We all up in their face, you know. But when that nine year old boy was gunned down by gang members, assassinated, right, right, right. Black Lives Matter was nowhere around. Right. They weren't out there protesting, they weren't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. The, um, Michael Flager. The priest, he had to be the voice of the community. A white priest had to, be the, had to be the voice of the community the and beg. And that's the whole thing that's so fucked up is that we know who's doing the killings. Right. 
but we don't we don't want to be that snitch. Right. right. We don't want to be that snitch. We don't want to say, yo, I know so and so shot that kid. So you're going to make the police do the work. So my beef with the um, Black Lives Matter is just that, yo, we got to do it. We got to clean up our neighborhood and our backyard first. Period. I mean, before we get out here, I mean, you going to Trump rallies, you trying to shut Hillary down, you trying to shut Bernie down. I mean, that's great and all that. But I mean, where's the voice? Where's the outrage? Where's all the noise when we killing each other? I'm with you on that. Murder has went up. Almost 90 percent just from last year. Mm -hmm. Last year, this time of the month, there was 81 killings. This year, this time of the month, 149. Where is this? Chicago. Chicago. So it should be a lot of housing opening up. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Yo, I can't get this apartment. I'll be ready. It'll be, be opening in about a week, man. We can ready, we can ready to kill 40 more. Right, so, I mean, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. Wow, so, Really? Yeah, really, I did. And, uh, and, and, <laughs> I did. And the ex Baltimore Raven, uh, I did. Ray Lewis, he went on Facebook. Hall of Famer, uh, yeah, Super Bowl on, champion. He went on Facebook t uh, Sugar 10 Rack. minutes, you know, preaching a sermon and all that. I mean, but it's just, it's no matter what we do as a culture, the thing I have is now, no matter how positive you try to. We don't we don't have a culture. That's, yeah, that's what it is. But no matter how positive you try to be, you're always going to have the haters. Oh, all day. You're well, always going to have the because haters. Because of. I mean, you can stand up and say, don't kill, stop the killing. You know, and motherfuckers gonna say, "Oh, you just a sellout. You a coon. You Uncle Tom. All that shit." Was it Ray Lewis? Yeah, that's what they called. They ain't gonna say that to his face. Yeah, I mean, but social media, the trolls. Well, some of those guys in Chicago might. Yeah, but see, everything you're taking wrong because you know it's like a Tom, a Tom boy is a strong girl. A Tom cat is a strong cat. But then when it comes to us, Tom becomes soft. So how did it switch like that? Wow. With the Uncle Tom. Right. The yeah. whole narrative, you know, how did it switch? That was that was a strong entity. Yeah. How did it become soft? But that's what I'm saying. We don't have no culture. We're just consumer whores, and everybody got mm -hmm. an iPhone, and they doing their own eye thing, and then you coming together, and you ain't got no base behind you. Yep. We, we ain't got we ain't got one fucking building where we can just go chop it up at. Not one. And we patronize the wrong shit. Niggas are standing in line. Two days in a row for Air Jordans. And they could just order them online. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Lewis Dix. Uh, TDP. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff <Farr>. uh, <laughs> on, on a serious tip, Jeff is that was good. Je Jeff is that was seriously that funny. Was, that was good. That was good. They <laughs> good. <laughs> Jeff, ah! Jeff is all the way right about uh, we have to make better decisions. We are killing each other. Uh, it's easy to say. That's what I'm saying. We always doing all this talking, but we exactly. ain't. Well, we well he's doing his job with his son, and you doing your job with your. My nieces, your man. nieces and your your nephews and your you know shit. Your private we're doing school. our jobs with our son because the next motherfucker that's not doing his job can kill my son. Exactly. There you go. Hey, poetess, aren't you glad you didn't get pregnant? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I why I don't know why. Why? I know why. Yeah. I know why. why but why? Uh, Lewis, did, listen. Uh, you want I, some pregnancy pudding? <laughs> <laughs> It's on order. You ain't got to stand in line for it. Oh. Or get it online. <laughs> uh, uh, what? The fathers of over one million children in the U.S. are in prison. And so? I'm, these are old statistics. 63% oh. of teen suicides <laughs> come from fatherless homes. <laughs> Boy, you and this uh, bullshit ass stats you be picking up. <laughs> Why do you think this shit is that way? You just think you just think motherfuckers just out here going, you know what? I'm just gonna be fucked up. I ain't, I don't want to do nothing in life. I just and you really think that? You think these numbers is real? No, the I person think... who don't never gave a fuck about you anyway, who enslaved you. That you you think you think that, that you think your, you think your first slave all, owners really all, gonna have your back? First of all, that statistic might not have come from a white person. It's not about the white person. It's the system, LD. Okay, even the system. Okay, here's the thing of like you always say, you gotta live it. All right, and we and living this, what the system is telling us, there are a lot of black men who are not handling their responsibilities as fathers. And why do you think that is? It's because they've been conditioned, <laughs> and they've shampoo and conditioner. And the, no, and and they've accepted the this side of their character to 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 not be important. Okay. 
Gotcha. Something has to be it has it has to be important to you as a human being to do better in that situation. If you see that your child, you know your child needs you to at least be present. Well, so you saying we got to be twice as better? Is what you telling me? That's a fact. We know that, but no, you that's have some be, bullshit. That's what that. Well, is. can you, you twice? Blame, can some of that blame? If they're gonna be twice as mean to us, we gotta bullshit. be twice. Yeah. No, you can, you, can some of that blame be attributed to the female? Because I was caught up in that shit. No, no. I'm gonna say the blame. I, I, yeah, the blame game is done. That's why I use the word present. As best as you can. There's situations which you know you can't control. Female can do certain things, courts, et cetera, et cetera. But the, your presence. And that's a system. Fine, but the. No, I, no, it ain't fine. You just running over it like that's just the norm. You got to accept. No. I didn't say you have to accept it. We have to, we have to, we have to vote. We have to do better. But what I'm saying is that as a. Excuse me. Do people, in, can people in D.C. vote? What, what are you talking about? Can the citizens of D.C. vote? Do they vote? Yeah, I'm sure they vote. No, they don't. What are you talking about? They don't vote for California, you saying? They don't vote. You can't vote in the District of Columbia. There's no voting there. How about general elections? How about federal? How about you understand what I'm saying? No. You're living in a city where it go down there, and you can't even vote in your own city. All right, you I miss have... me with that voting shit. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Poetess, can you look You're up? You're supposed to know that already. I'm not... What are you doing with your life? Not paying attention to that. That's so what I'm saying. You spewing, but you ain't knowing. No, the I'm of spewing this. from what I'm. What I my understanding of from my perspective is that <clears throat> as men can do, we all can do better, and I think black men can do better serving themselves by being more involved in the child's life as they best they can. As best they can. You know what I mean, see, too many outs in this in this English. Well, that's language. all you got as best you can. You can't no, you go beyond no, that. You don't. Well, how do you go beyond that? What's the best you can? You brought it up. I didn't bring it up. I'm just the antagonist. Hey, you know what? I'm three two three two nine three 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 seven five. There's going to come a time. You've been in radio for a long time, right, Poetis? Allegedly. Yes, to, twenty-seven oh, years. Here okay, we so go. to me, as the person as as the lead and the the person lead anchor here, hmm? eventually I will have just computers here. <laughs> right. I mean, I just want to understand wanna, that what I'm what I'm striving what for is just is to it, where I can push a button and they will just, disappear. No, no, they can have their figures here because I didn't have the hologram stuff. But but oh, okay. what comes out of them would be conducive to what I'm trying to conducive. say. Okay, so let me just clarify what Teeter said. Thank you. Um, voting rights of citizens in the District of Columbia different differ from the rights of the citizen in each, each of the U.S. states. 50 states. You want to do this? <laughs> no, go ahead. No, no, go, go he just, that's, he, that, actually, that, that's that, his job. He should have been looking this no, up No, I did anyway. look it up. That well, was, he has a prison computer. That was public school. He, he has to go through channels. He's reading to make sure he's on the same page as you. He's following the teacher. <laughs> yeah. Um, they say the United States Constitution grants each state voting representation in both House of the United States uh, states Congress. As the U.S. Capitol, the District of Columbia is a special federal state, uh, federal district, not a state, and therefore does not have voting representation in the Congress. Thank you, Fact Frida. All right. I didn't know that either. I know, so I'm saying, y'all, with this bullshit out here, it ain't Just even on y'all. You, you know one thing. No, no, you know, it, ain't wow. no, it ain't no one thing, goddammit. Right, Miss knew, me. Well, whatever. Miss it, me. Miss me with that Miss bullshit. Miss me with. Thank you, Jazzy. This is what I'm saying, man. We not even getting down to the to the goddamn bases. We talking about why you didn't put the window in the right goddamn way when you ain't even talking I, about I the I just foundation. feel like I'm going to hear some some drums from some trash cans in a minute and some people <laughs> dancing and, and thinking that they're real and some incense burning. Some boo. Yeah, that's right. No, I hear you, bro. I don't Thank have to be you. validated by your ignorance. Trust hey, me. Amen. Hey, amen. Hey, listen. Trust you me. know, you've been on one all night. He has been. You, you, you've been on well, one as, as, some as, girlfriend. as if you lost oh. your, your, your first bra or something. <laughs> you, you've been on one. I mean, just really, I just don't know if it's me or what, but he's been, I mean. No, he, I, I told him today when he walked in because he was being all nice to Jeff and and Caddy with me, and I go, Why are you being so nice to him? It's so oh, mean to jealous. me. Oh, right. Because, see, I like to set a tone. I like to get oh, people off see, balance. Must, see, I like to see where you at. He must have got some lotion on sale or something. He just, he's starting to feel it. <laughs> I just want to like, say and quote you, this type of shit don't happen on the view. Thank you. Jealousy. Thank you. Yes. It don't happen on the view. 
Listen, we uh, don't know some, learn some. That's all I'm saying. Don't get mad because it came from me. You say, hey, man, hey, 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 watch your tone. Hey, hold up. Hey, say what's say, happening. Hey, you hey, wreck hey, yourself. Hey, hey, hey. Shout out to NWA for going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You, you, you need to go to the Mad Marv Lounge. Comedy Lounge. Mad Marv is funny. Lay down out. and relax. Listen, um, I'm, I'm not going to take too much of that. What, learning? No. Oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be damned if I learn from you. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was pretty good. Ain't no fun when a rabbit got the Ain't gun. Ain't no sunshine it. when she... Ain't no fun when a rabbit got the gun. When the hunter becomes a prey. Mm. Hey, listen. Um, Sucker. Got yourself a gun. I'm Lewis Dix. For what, TDP? <laughs> Jeff Arnold. And, and you are in... The man's And, and don't get... Now, I know a lot of you men and women got a little nervous when you heard us going back and forth, like, oh, look at you going to fight? Oh, yeah, that's how men talk. Right. So, you men, you understood it. A lot of you probably got nervous because you didn't want your girl to hear it. But it's okay. Right. This was a good night for you to learn. This is how we talk. This it's is how about we relate. Building, man. And then we come back and do it again. But, we, you know, we're getting better. I've had a lot of fun. Um, we if only, one of us is not here next week, then you know that one person probably got shot. Wow. <laughs> that was like, Way to put that out there in the ether. <laughs> yeah, John Lemon. That's exactly something that Don Lemon would say. Um, but we got people like Dub calling in, man. They want answers, man. They want to know how to navigate this, man. Well, I mean, you shared some, I mean, Dub and Chris. And, DK. And Chris Jr. And and, and even Eck with his four calls. And Aaron. Right. Yeah, and X. X to the fourth power. <laughs> <laughs> X, you know what, X, next week we're going to call you. <laughs> uh, just want you, to, we're going to call you now. We'll oh, tell you what time. Yeah, be patient. All right, listen to the rollout show on Friday morning, and they'll tell you when we're going to call you. Hilarious. Okay? Oh. Uh, shout out to the rollout. I like what they're doing. I never listen, but I like what they're doing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, you just got to go there. I you know? just, oh, I scroll, I see all the, they put some funny pictures out. Yeah. The one with Poetus is stealing the lawn chair killed me. Oh. The, uh, <laughs> it destroyed me. They said they were looking for him. That okay. was, oh my God, I laughed out loud. Yeah, that Aaron and um, Chuck Farmer does a lot. Oh, well, well pa- and, and when they put uh, pa- Nikki Pan in the, the little short uh, fro. Uh, little... Oh, with Alexander <laughs> Oh, yeah, the yeah, poet showed me that. That's, that was that hilarious. Was funny. That was funny. Um, Anything else you don't know about you want to talk about? You sound old right there. You sound really like it's called wisdom. 70. It's yeah, called wisdom. old back right there. Yeah. Um, while we was gone, we had some celebrity deaths in our. You know, oh! Fife Dog. Tri- That's the dude yeah. from. Um, Tribe Tri- Called Quest. Right. Yeah. Rest Joe Santos power. at the Rockford Files. Ken Howard, White Shadow. What? Yeah. Gary Shandling, Larry Sanders Show. Yeah, that was shocking. He had a heart yeah. attack. Yeah. Did you yeah. know him, uh, Lewis? Yeah. 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 I like to show it's uh, Larry Sanders Show. Yeah, I like them too. He had two shows. Yeah, show in the 80 and a show in the yeah, 90. Yeah, uh, the other one yeah. is Gary Shandling. It's Gary Shandling. Yeah, Gary Shandling. Oh. Yeah. And uh, with Rip Torn. Oh, oh Rip Torn. They tore it up. Yeah. That was Jeffrey the... Tambor, the Larry Sanders Show. Shout out to Gary yeah. Shandling. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Uh, Rest in power. He was, yeah, he seemed like a nice guy. Yeah. I'm mad him too. He was. Patty Duke died. When? Patty Duke? Yep. She when? died last March 29th. Yep. You mean last year? No, this year. She, Patty Duke died? Yes. Yeah. No, Patty last Duke died. Week about, I think it was about a week or two ago. Died March 29th. I didn't hear Now, who was Patty Duke in your world for you to be so upset about that? Yeah. Who's Patty Duke? She's a walking and a walking and a Patty Duke show. Yeah, it's sisters. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I you had to watch that. The then you, you watch. Saying. Then you could watch the the, the 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 what was that other the cop movie after that? Hill Street Blues or something or something else. Whatever used to come on after. Some Patty cop. Duke, Adam Twelve. <laughs> yeah, something manly would come on after that. But we had to watch. And the and the love and the she's. It was it was like a vaudeville show or something. She had like she was a twin or something. I don't know. It's a great. Show. I mean, okay, who's next? Who's, what's Merle Haggard died uh, yesterday. Who Merle Haggard? Yeah. Who was that? Gato Bebiero, Merle Haggard, country singer, country music. Yeah, yeah. Merle Haggard. Yeah. Yeah. Born star died. That's how that's how that's how black people do when they do, when they barely know white people. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> black know. person. Oh lord, he died. Oh my god. Oh lordy, lordy. Can't believe that. Why did he die? Yeah, white person. Oh, that's when you don't I know. Just say them. Yeah, right, right, right. Because right. even on the, on the when they do it on the TV shows, you can hear the big applause to people who just recently died. Other people are like. Oh. Yeah. Joe Gorgiola died. Who was that? 
baseball player. Yeah, oh, Joe yeah, Garagiola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bear, the little, uh, little. That was from the Yankees, right? He was from the yeah. Joe Garagiola. Mm-hmm. Yep. He used to catch do the color play by play. Yeah, for the Yankees. Yep. Yeah. He... And he did it for the. Um, he was the broadcaster for NBC when they did baseball. Exactly. Yeah. Go Jericho. Joe Garagiola. Yeah. Who? Joe Garagiola. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead. I remember him. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's a short list. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess God is like, hey, uh, you're, you're tipsy? Yes, I am tipsy. I've been tipsy, too. Uh, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Um, Tighten up your belt. You are in. Straight no chaser. Now, listen. Uh, digesting world. that sandwich by now. Yeah, we, we talk about a lot of stuff, uh, and but it's. Unfortunately. It's some things that a man must. You have to do as a man. Man must? Must. M-U-S-T. Must. Oh, I thought you was with the K. Must do. I Musk. didn't want man must do. Must. Uh, my on top of my list <clears throat> was health, and as best you can, regular doctor visits. So something small doesn't turn into something big, right? Because if you're not here, hey man, that insurance gonna run out. If you're not here, man. <laughs> what? I'm listening, but I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I mean, it's like I'm saying, men over. You got to get your prostate checked. Do you have to? You have to. Yeah. You have to. Why you have to? And just control how many fingers he put up in there. <laughs> how you control that? You got, you, got, you got to stand strong. <laughs> you know, don't flinch. Let's ask X. Because once you take it hard, first time he... he Wait a he, minute. Hold <laughs> up. You know what I'm talking Once about. you take it hard. I'm talking about when you... I don't know. I wasn't there. Hey, uh, well, all right. Well, I'm saying is... I just, didn't drop you off. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, you will need someone to uh, pick you up and drop you off because you'll be under medication. You'll be woozy. Yeah, you'll woozy. be you'll be you'll be saying his name on the way home. <laughs> wow. Uh, Tell me, uh, doctor. Regular doctor visits, you can. And if something's lumpy and 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 oral health. Oral. Oral health. You gotta. I mean, it's seen a lot of nasty mouth men, young boys. As of what? Just the teeth are just nasty. It just the stuff in them on them. Look, the teeth look like they it's got dreads. It's amazing how they can afford to get grills and stuff, but don't get <sighs> really proper, a crest. Pop proper dental treatment. Yeah, I mean when your when your teeth start looking like dreads. It's a problem. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Seriously. Is hair on your teeth? <laughs> no, with the little yellow. It's just like, what the hell? It was a, oh, is it a calcium deficiency? Yeah, I don't know what it is. Drink milk or something. Is it uh, pyorrhea? I mean, what is it? Uh, Jeff, you have one? Just to be happy. Wake up happy, man. man Positive. Man. Homie? That's a good way to start the day. Oh, we all have to have a tip? No, I mean, if you have one, if you don't have one. Eat fish on Fridays. That's probably true. And then they- Filet? T- t- two for five. No bones. No bones. Um, uh, you you have to figure out a way to make a living. You have to figure out a way to make a living. And hopefully it's something that you enjoy that makes you happy. Where everybody you know, else is that. sucking up all the goddamn resources and, well, and boxing any you Any kind out. of living? No, just something that sustains you that you can wake up and do what you say. Be happy. Because you can't function without money. Hmm. Try telling that to my son. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Try telling the one. <laughs> Walk away from unhappy women who won't accept love. Walk away from unhappy women who won't accept love. And same thing. Women walk away from unhappy man who won't accept love. Be a gentleman even when the situation screams for eruptions. Oh. I'm with that. Be a gentleman even when the situation screams for eruptions. Be a gentleman. Give an example. Jeff? My example is, like I said earlier in the program, people don't listen to obtain information. They just listen to respond. So everybody, especially women, it's like when you when you lay some uh, shit you down. You generalize. I don't give a fuck. When you laying something down that is, is going to benefit them, they don't want to hear that shit. They just want to say what they already know or what they think or what their girlfriends told them and all that. Right. So it becomes a point where a guy, you go, I'm not talking to this bitch ever again in life. Right. Been there, don't know. You know, and it's like, it's not a few, it's the multitudes. It's like, nobody want to listen to a fucking body speak. Everybody got to cut each other off and say some bullshit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. What the fuck are you talking about? That part. (laughs) An example would be when a woman approaches you and comes at you like she's a man and your natural instinct is to react that way. Or... But it starts in the conversation is what I'm saying. It starts there. And, and, um... 
and like you said, TDP had a good point. We you just got to listen. Because sometimes people are saying something and they're meaning something totally different. And we just, yep. everybody, oh, I know already. I know everybody. It, 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 Jump to the conclusions. And we all fucked up as a race. So what do you know? What the fuck do you really know? Well, I know. I know. Is it time to go? It's almost, but I just. Damn. I, um, I'm sick of the bullshit, bro. Either yeah, we gonna do it or we ain't. Hey, tonight's hey. show was dedicated to whoever pissed TDP off. I'm not pissed off. I mean, whoever uh, emotionalized him. Like, like my man said with the whole black life, man, we are dying out on these streets, are and ain't nobody giving. Still a fuck. talking, man. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm still talking. Hey, nobody poetry. gives a fuck. Poetess. What's wrong with this dude? Huh? It's serious out in these streets, man. What's wrong? Ain't no joke. Okay. You okay? I'm great. I don't see nobody else race laying out in the street, and, and and I don't see I don't see that. I don't see it. I feel you on that, dog. I don't I see you. it. I feel you. Because they structure is together. You say anything about them, it's a problem. You say something about us, and then everybody just ride along with it. Man, fuck that shit. I'm sick of it. Yep. Things going to get better. I guess we're going to play no, it that. No, ain't. What's that? Spike Lee plays that song in all his movies. What? I've been... What is that song? No, no, no. So I'm saying, I don't watch Spike Lee movies. I do. Uh, did you I, watch Chirac? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I paid to, paid to see it. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. June, my the film I'm in is coming out. Mickey Howard. Oh, Mickey Howard Story. All right. TV One. Excited. Nice. TV what part one? did you play? Psychiatrist. I played her therapist. Same okay. guy. Did you go hard on her? Yeah, I played a therapist who got her off crack. Oh, wow. Okay. And, then, and then you uh, got on it. Then I got on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's part, Give me that. It's part B coming up. Let me show you how to do that. <laughs> you got the flame all wrong, girl. <laughs> Damn, Mickey Howard. Yeah, turning the pipe like that. Uh, burning your palm. I'm excited about it. Uh, congratulations to... Uh, NWA. Yeah. Big shout Rock out, Roll man. Hall what of happened? Fame. What Innovators. Happened? NWA went where? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Innovators. Congratulations yes, to West sir. Coast Pioneers, punk. Yep. You're you're from Chicago. You're not from the West Coast. See, that's your problem, man. You you are so hitting us against each other. Right. You, you are so biggie shit. You got that whole slavery mentality in your motherfucking head about some bullshit line that somebody wait, else wait, done wait, drew wait. up in life. You know, I think if we left, he would still be here talking <laughs> and, and talking about how discriminant and how bad things are. Can't believe that's what's wrong. Black people no, leaving other I'm black people in the that. dark. It comes out of your mouth, so I see, must address it. See, oh, see, you see. speaking like the enemy. See, listen, to, he's on one. Are, are we recording this? Because this is a TDP rant. You're speaking like the enemy. See, You're I want to give Chicago. a shout out to my You're friend, from Nebraska. Friend, like a motherfucker can't have what a month is, What month is this? This is the What's Dark up, Skin Sarah? Speak Out month. I'm sorry, you're shouting at who? No, Sarah this is on. Um, Green Bay. Wait, hold up, because nobody really listens to him and Marv on that show. So we oh, that's they do. Wow, really? That's go, right. ahead. go ahead, get, get your shout out now. That's all right, that's all right. Hating because I'm a two, two radio sport guy. Thank you. Come on, man. Go ahead. I'm good. No, who was the shout out? We didn't hear it. She heard it. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Hey, Sarah, how you doing, Green Bay? What's up, girl? Sarah in Green Bay? She listened to the show? Is she a cheesehead? Yes. Okay. All day long. No. Nah. African American? Hi, Sarah. No. Sellouts. No, it's no sellout. See, now see what I'm saying? When you say it is is good. What is a sellout, man? You ain't you ain't never I, sold nothing okay, to sell. Okay, watch out. watch this. Captain Crunch is good. Oh, go ahead. Now what do you have against that? What do Captain you have against Crunch Captain Crunch ran a slave ship? <laughs> <laughs> you see on the box, motherfucker. It was slaves. Hey, the I'm, crunches were called man. Negroes. <laughs> hey, I'm Lewis Diggs. You'll find racism in anything. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Hey, listen, thank you so much again, Poetis, for allowing us to be at Morris oh, Media what? Studios. Because she's allowing us to be at Morris Media Studios. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you, Poetis, and I'll see you Tuesday. And we know uh, right okay. now it's, it's they keep it quiet here, but uh, ratings-wise, we're the number one show. Uh, we've been doing well. Speak on it. And uh, we're just glad to ca- we're just glad to be the flag. The, the, what do they call that? Flagship the flag, station. Flag, the flag. The, the, the one that you guys can lean on now. Flagship you know, station. You don't see us in a lot of the promos and a lot of the stuff because we 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 want them to be here. Because you're only here once a month. We 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 want them to be here. My name ain't on nothing. Was that a, was that a yeah. shot at us? What she yeah. just shot? I, at you us? know what? what? Ta- ta- it just went right over. You know, I got a little thing. 
He That's said the same thing she Bush. said. Yeah. Of George Bush when the guy threw the shoe. Threw the shoe. That so, was all staged. But uh, shout out to our, our our other shows. We love it. Uh, Roll out, keep pushing. Um, who else? Mad Marv. The Mad Marv comedy lounge Rounds, Tuesday night, seven o'clock. And don't forget, the most important thing is to donate, and so we can keep this going. Www w.morrismediastudios.com uh, You can go to PayPal, contact at Morris Media Studios and if you want to donate to this show specify on the description and we'll take care of the host. And I'm starting a GoFundMe page if you want to nice. No, it's all Who through cares? here. <laughs> And if you donate, wow. if, you, if you do donate to our show, <laughs> if you do See donate, what I'm saying? To- if I say something, it's a problem. Yeah. But because it's covert and it's 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 cool, I got you now. I, I see what it is now. It's just this, hate. I see what it is. Like, what a I never said that, but I heard what just transpired when Jazzy was trying to do his thing. I heard what happened. It's like, wow. So, so I'm not going to act so like. Where's the love at? It ain't none. I know. It ain't you know none. what? That's what um, they motherfuckers it's, shoot each it's other. It's obvious that Jeff thinks he's more talented than what he is because he has another <laughs> show on. And he's starting to speak up. And then we're, we're okay with no, that. No, no, no. And, and, <laughs> Oh, and then, <laughs> and Teeter is oh, on I, one. Oh, because I was scoring and shit. And no, uh, we'll be back right. next week, no, man. 9 and 11, Friday. We'll see y'all next week. I'm Lewis Dix. He's just trying to get his chops up, man. I'm and Lewis Dix, and you are. Excuse me, man. I'll say my name when I get ready to say my motherfucking <laughs> name. I don't need you to dictate to me, All motherfucker, right. what okay. I'm doing. Right. You and that old Captain Crunch <laughs> bullshit. <All> right. TDP. <laughs> Jeff Arnold. <laughs> we love you, poetess. Oh, For what? Oh, shit.